first I have to do the tweeting and the, <clears throat> all the other stuff. Let's see, Twitter. Copy. Paste. And that's Kalugan. Hey. Um, My husband has arrived. Uh, <laughs> it's just the Becky voice. <laughs> that is the Becky voice. Uh, Amazing. I guess that means you do start us. <laughs> like for you, this is unabout, so there isn't that much speaking. Let's see. We are zero. Yada. We are live with season. Premiere the season premiere of season four as the guilds. Uh, yada yada yada. Copy pasta. Copy image. Paste the image. Tweet. Hit the button. Tweet. There we go. And copy link to tweet. Post it everywhere. Friend announcements. Post Stop. it on all the networks. Oh, God. You. <laughs> I'm so going to murder you. <laughs> uh, That's why I said I'm going for quickest time to die in season four. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it sounds more like Monty Python. Yeah. It does sound very Monty Python. I was going to say, I was getting Mrs. Doubtfire vibes there. <laughs> He's been a very naughty boy. And or Julia Child. All right. <laughs> Let's get this voice check started. Boondale, please talk like you're normally talking. Okay. How do I sound? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good. All right. Kalugan, your normal talking voice. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta crank you for some reason. Get you uh, out, but... Eagle, you son of a bitch. You're making me do math in the very beginning. Uh, somebody's got an echo going on. Echo! Echo! I don't hear an echo. I'm not hearing an echo either. Oh, it's because I have the stream running. I'm an idiot. No, <laughs> yeah, you got it. You're an idiot. Uh... Oh, that's the By the way, Kalugan, what is going on with your mic? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm in the process of fixing. Are you, are, you, are you, like, removing it from the butthole and, like... <laughs> no, nah, I think uh, All right, my so... brother was using it, and so... Lighting. Eagle. Plus I am also one sharing the sub. Twitch link and a few servers and then... Post one sub, all right there. All right, so we posted there. Uh, media and links, I post it here. Ba -ba -ba -da. I'll post it, let's see. You know, I can't post it there. Can't post it there. Yada. Here we go. Advertisements. Self promotion here. Portion square. Stream friends. Bit community. Come on, shameless plugs here. All right, we are golden. We are live. Um, I need to finish the rest of the mic checks, and then we'll get on with the stuff. So, Kalugan, one more time, speak at your normal speaking voice. Hello, hello, hello. All right, just a little bit higher for you. One more time. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Uh, Marxist, your turn. Hello. 
Testing one, two. Is this all coming through clear? Yep. Uh, Tickles, your turn. Hello. All right. Tack, your turn. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. And Torig, your turn. Testing one, two, three, four, and maybe even five. And your stupid voice. Testing in all the different voices. <laughs> God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right, so that is <clears throat> there, and it's painful. All right, so I need to line up all the things. We're going to F11 this. We're opening this. Uh, gonna give By the way, as usual, I only have the stream open in the background for the extra view. Copy this, paste this, streaming, enter the keys, thank you for the follow, how's it going in there, oh you're back, uh, and then I just need stream, and we're gonna go ahead, stream is done, The F11 that. All right, so that's golden, that's golden. I need to send you all, actually, you know what? I need to configure players because apparently I have players. What, no. All right, create additional user. One, two, three, four, five, six. Player one is Boondale. Player two is Kalugan. By the way, is the Discord link on the not yet. currently yeah. supposed to look like that? Uh, not yet. Give me one second. Because yeah, uh, I think we might be only using um, Foundry. You don't have to go from D&D &D beyond back and forth, back and forth. Oh, that's neat. Uh, so if, if I have this set up correctly, we might, this is the initial run. So we're, there might be some speed bumps that we need to roll over children in the way, all that sort of thing. But thank you for being the guinea pigs. And... Children shall not be a speed bump or a glorious crusade. All right. So save and return. All right, so here we go. We are going to center these. I'm going to send out the invite links to you all. And from there, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the game screen. And the game screen is black. What did I do wrong? Uh, oh. oh, guys, we don't have that much to worry about. There is no beard. So there we go. And then stream map. Who's got the really loud? Wait, no, hold on. That is that. And then this is this. And then I'm just going to pull this up. Stream output protractor. I set all this up earlier. That looks clean and smooth. All right. Perfect, perfect. All right. Got a few people logged in so far. Oh.
lighting is better. Okay. So, we are streaming. We have the everything up. People are logging in. I need to start giving people access to their characters. Uh, that would be kind, yes. Let's see, prototype token. Uh, <clears throat> configure permissions. That's what I need to do. Torig is the owner. Save. I can uh, see. All right. Tech, you, uh, one second. If everyone could go either push to talk or mute the mic. Uh, mute the mic whenever you're not talking. Let's see. Um, last but not least, let's see. So that's Becky. Becky is done. Uh, who is Bur Bungren? That would be me. Uh, third person, please. Me doesn't help. Who is that? It's who? Boondale. Boondale. All right. Uh, so we'll configure permissions. Boondale. Owner. Save changes. Atanas, apparently we need to rub your head for good luck, according to Eagle. And I trust Eagle. Who is Cernan? That would be me. Again. Uh, thank you very much. Configure permissions, Kalugan, owners, save changes. All right. Then we got Drazen. Me, Moxie's Mika. Mia Cat. All right. Configure permissions, Moxie's Mia Cat, owners, save changes. I do believe we are missing one person. Yeah, that's me. I'm having an issue with uh, getting this to work. Who is Elasmus? Oh, Elamus? Who's Elamus? Oh, that's, that's uh, me, uh, Tickles. Mr. Tickles. And then Vera Dark. Tack. Tack. All right. Owner save changes. All right. Everyone should have access to their character. That being said, Alimus, you are the only character without dark vision. So. Um, would you, would you like to have a torch out? What, what's your plan here? Could we have string and just tie it around the halfling? What, what was that? Rope. What? Tie it to halfling so we can lead them along in the dark. Mm. <laughs> uh, just put a leash on them. I was going to have a torch out. Um, okay. maybe not have a leash. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change your character really quick. Don't be alarmed if you disappear. Okay. Luckily, I don't need to worry about level um, wielding or shields. Oh, that's all for other people. Would it be acceptable to say that eight hours before we started this adventure, I cast Goodberry three times and then took an eight-hour nap? <laughs> I mean, I, I would assume so. You guys have all the time in the world to prep. Uh, so we have 30 to divide between us. <laughs> All right. There was the question, did anybody else want to get married? Update token. I mean, like, that is true. We do have one of a divine soul sorcerer that can marry. All right. And also Becky. Becky can also legally marry people. All right. Actually, will not marry. There, there is no way that that voice is going to marry to the half. <laughs> um, last... oh, don't worry, I already have a spouse. By the way, um, last thing, does anyone have a familiar? Uh, oh, no, sorcerers don't get familiar, so yeah, it's well, yeah, like with the fine familiar spell, does anyone like plan on casting it? 
Uh, I didn't take it, so no. Okay. Just double tri- and triple checking. All right. Please, um, right now is a great time to look at your character sheet um, on D&D Beyond and make sure that the character sheet uh, reflects the character sheet that you have in Foundry. This is probably the only time that you will need to actually look at your D&D Beyond. Um, but, but I want to make sure that everyone, everyone's character sheets pretty much line up. So there's that being yeah. said, let's see. I gotta double check stuff. Uh, where do we check the sheet inside the double click on your character? Thing? It seems. Oh, yeah, okay. And then last Oops. but not least, I'm gonna double check. I, ha- I have to activate a few uh points options for my channel so yeah all seems to be in order all right viewers for me too. channel points <laughs> all right except for some reason it still changes the uh level to xp instead of milestone but that is just uh for the importer all right roll roll uh all those are online now all right, we are golden there. I like the way this character sheet's set up. I know. I I am a big fan of these character sheets. Very simple. Yeah. My own group, we have played Foundry once so far, and we already like it more than over a year of Roll20. Dude, dude we're, I'm on three years of Roll20, and the things I can do, I'm so excited about. All right, that being this said... by the way, is not um, sponsored by Foundry whatsoever. This is just voluntarily support. All right, so copy and pasta. All right, so... So my armor class is not correct at all. Which one? Who is I? Armor class? Uh, uh, this is Tuck. And your character very is... Dark. Very dark. Okay. What should your armor class be? 20. Alright, so you have a shield. I have a shield. I have my tattoo as well. Alright. And then the cloak of protection. And a cloak of protection. Uh, double check. Very. Alright, everything. I just entered it, and apparently it's all good now. Yeah. Armor, right. dex bonus, and armor bonus with barrier to two, magic bonus, and shield. Alright. So you should be good now. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to triple check because, yep, perfect. All right. So you all are, <clears throat> um, we've already done the whole uh, spiel about uh, you, most of you. I think Tack is the only ungilded member in the group. Um, Torig was nominated the leader because of the guild charter. Guild Charter states that um, whoever has the majority of the uh, members of the party in the uh, guild wise, they get to nominate the party member leader. A leader has uh, been nominated as sadly Becky, the paladin. <laughs> to be my wife. And uh, God help us all. There is no God but Becky. <laughs> Um, that being said, uh, we are, what have I got myself into? All right. So, um, you all entered the Yanni portal with purpose. Um, you already know what you're doing, what you have to do. You know, the rules of Undermountain, all the bets are placed. Now, what I'm going to say for, is for the viewers at home here, <clears throat> All 18 of them, apparently. Thank you for joining us on the season premiere of uh, Undermountain Rise of the Guilds. So, right now, we have two guilds in play. We have the Holy Sanctum, which is run by, I believe, one of our viewers, Apostle of Orcus. And that is... 
Um, I'm just trying to double check. M Mr. Tickles. So Becky. I'm just trying to remember who's... Uh, Mr. Tickles, what's your character again? Uh, Limus. Which one? Oh, I miss. Oh, I miss. And then uh, Klugen. What was Cernan? Cernan Galenos. All right. So those these three right here are um, members of the Holy Sanctum, run by Apostle Vorkis. And then we have the Delvers League, which is uh, who's Delvers League? Market Marxist. What is your character again? Drazhand, the uh, Elven Ranger. Drazhand, and then Larry is Bungren? Right. All right. And we have one ungilded member, <clears throat> which just decided to take long because, I don't know. Delver's League is run by uh, the person who made this map possible. What you're going to be seeing is a brand new revamped version of Undermountain. Uh, so <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit more to take in. Uh, I just want to triple check that everything is where it should be. Uh, let's see. Check the walls. All the walls are lined up. Perfect. All right. So... Everyone, please remove one gold piece from your character sheet. Uh, I will be paying for my wealth. I will be paying for my wife. Why, thank you, darling. Eagle, you bastard. You're making me do even more math. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Let's go, Eagle. Ooh, ooh. All right. So, I'm going to copy and paste... And we are activating level one of Undermountain. Spooky. Do you, uh, each of you want to take one of my 30 good berries? So we've got a way to get you back up if you get downed. I shall take one of the good berries. All right, everyone should see entry well as one of your uh, maps to go to. Please head to the entry well. It, yeah, I'm yeah, you sorry. Can, by the way, with right click preload things for us. So All right. Take this long. Okay. No, that, that's actually really, really useful to know because I'm still learning how to use Foundry. All right. No see. worries. I have like 15 megabyte maps and only a 5 mbit upload rate, so I know these stuff, this things. All right. As you notice, uh, this map has changed quite a bit. Um, those of you, uh, uh, I ask that all the players who are playing, please do not watch the stream, but it, you feel free to have it on in the background muted. Um, this sort of helps the viewer count, all that fun stuff, but we're just trying to not have that meta happen. All right. Uh, and this group uh, decided to, uh, let's find it. Still loading for me. Show the players. They decided to, uh, since they have two Delvers Guild members, oh. they bought the um, Delvers Guild map. This map was created by a previous person who went down into Undermountain. And um, with those, they, they actually... Um, They deciphered it uh, because two of their members uh, understand, can read, and write Dwarven. So they actually spent the day before translating the map. They have that translated version of the map, which, again, Tack, thank you very much for doing that. No problem. Um, so they they looked at it they figured out what they need to do now each guild has a specific mission that they have sent their people forth to do um that is only known to those guild members 
Uh, each the other guilds don't know those missions, things like that. But again, the uh, Holy Sanctum is the leaders of this party. All right. That being said, I am gonna open up a new uh, window, and I am gonna start with the Google Drive because it's been forever since I've actually done this. All right, Under Mountain. Project under mountain question mark. Nope. Wrong. Let's try this one. Under mountain. There we go. Under mountain. Room write ups. Here we go. It has been a while. Me, 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 me. Um. <laughs> All right. The last echoes of the crowd's toast and bedding whisper about you as you descend deep into the well. As the flickering light from the torches above fades, a chill overtakes you. You find yourself still sinking with no end in sight. You drop slowly and steadily deeper on the rope, almost as though you were the bait on an unweighted fishing line in placid waters. But the cold and the quiet of the well that surrounds you is anything but peaceful. The silence has more of a waiting quality to it. After being lowered for what seems like an eternity, you at last see the bottom. Below you stretches sand-covered ground and whatever fate awaits you in Undermountain. Now, um, the, the normal spiel for Undermountain is they, they give you the rules. They tie you up in these harnesses. And then what they do is they un, um, you untie yourself at the bottom. Everyone gives a yank on the rope after they've been lowered down. Uh, all but one rope goes uh, comes back up. So there's a single rope just always waiting here. If you come back, decide to come back this way, and this is the only way that you know, uh, you have to yank on the rope as many times as you have members in your party. If it is just you, you tie yourself back up, you yank on the rope, and they pull you up. If it is five people, yank it five times, four ropes get dropped down, um, and then they, you all yank it and they begin to lift you back up. Um, you have to spend at least one hour in Undermountain in order to be brought up at all. Um, and yeah, so this room right here, as you, you begin to get acclimated to, uh, to it, the torchlight begins to fill the room. Um, <clears throat> several inches of sand covers the floor in this roughly square room. Broken and dented shields hang on stone walls covered with chalk and charcoal graffiti. The ceiling looms a mere 10 feet above you, as it does in the hallway to the southwest. But a 30-foot um, diameter hole in the ceiling forms a chimney that rises up over 100 feet. Now, I'm going to try something out, because can you all see this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so... Can I you? Say, I'm still so weirded out not to just have a white blank room. Yeah. Uh, ignore that. All right. So along this wall here, can you still see it? Yep. Okay. Yep. This wall right here is nothing but shields. This wall right here, there seems to be completely devoid of all shields and has actually no. Nope, it's just devoid of all shields because players are jerks. This wall is completely filled with shields, ceiling to floor, floor to ceiling. Same with this wall here and this wall here. Uh, you're all unlocked. What do you all wish to do? The shield's valuable? Uh, most of them are rusted, pitted, uh cleaved into i mean these are these are pretty old and weathered uh the pause for me oh i am sorry i forgot you can actually pause the game i guess the first thing 
And don't forget, <sighs> you have that map to uh, look at. That is true. Can we I refer I would... to the map, then? Oh, yeah. Make you can open that up for us. So, yeah, based on just the general layout of this room and the fact that there are missing shields, um, I feel like we're in this kind of <clears throat> upper quarter quadrant. Um, By the way, as you got closer to that, you realize there is chalk graffiti on that wall. Okay. Um, I'd, yeah, I'd like to spend a little bit of time just checking that wall for All right. uh, um, kind of... In, in common, written on the wall, it says, Here lies a secret door, but you will not find it, or you won't be able to open it. And then you'll rot here in this pit. Ha ha. Did, uh, can I see that map again? I did see one part that you did translate about a man named Dymith. Maybe, Maybe this is his doing. When told not to trust this man. Uh, and then See, I there's, will... the, there's what oh. looks like a secret passage on the map. I'm wondering if this is maybe what we've found the other side of. That's true. But it does say we'll, we will die trying, so it could be a no good trap. I, I would sort of like look at my wife and I would say, honey, you are leader here. Uh, do, uh, do we? Be... We did miss. We... There we go. Yeah. Do we attempt to open this hidden door that seems to be mapped out and written in common, or do we continue down the obvious path? Uh, Becky is currently looking at the map. Yeah, uh, that was given. I'm guessing it's maybe the the secret door is the bit that goes to the janitor's area. Why, yes, it does appear so, but I also see another passageway further down. Hmm. If Shall we, we go take... south here and follow and then go northern direction, we should arrive on the other side of this door. So we don't have to break <laughs> it down and cause a ruckus. By the, by the way... so smart, Becky. By the way, if any of you ever have... A problem with his voice? Please speak up. I'm no. I'm. I'm I love it. I have no problem. Torig knows uh, that if it becomes a problem for any of the players, uh, just speak speak up, and he will end that voice. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't so be nice to tell him not to use his natural voice. Actually, my normal voice is the one I always put on. Tarnas is very discriminatory against me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do remember us talking uh, before we came into Undermountain about checking out the janitor's place. So if we do want to do that, we could uh, not break down the door and take the leisurely passage down. Yeah, take the scenic route. Yeah. Uh, Quite so. So, um, like, how how far out does our um, intrepid halflings torch cast? Uh, would be like... twenty. It's usually twenty uh, bright, forty dim. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna take my flower crown off that I have on my head. I'm going to cast a light on it, and then I'm going to put it on the halfling's head, so he may have an open hand. Are you giving him a halo? Yes. <laughs> And then I'm gonna give him a quick pat on the head, and though go there, you go, young fella. Can we um? Can we all pat the halfling for luck? Get the halfling. Uh, are, are you supposed? Isn't aren't you supposed uh, to like rub the uh, a halfling's belly for good luck? I... <laughs> yeah, but, but the halfling says you're supposed to rub his feet for good luck. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. no king shaming in this group. Fuck a toe here. Uh, well, uh, after getting our good luck, uh, Becky, lead us whichever way you have decided. Wait, Becky, take this ten foot pole and tap a tap a headlong ahead of you in case of pressure plates. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's true. Yes, and actually, here the halfling is useful. Um, uh, 
got that uh, cast guidance on Becky. There we go. <clears throat> Tonus, I'm going to take out um, my little bags of sand, okay. and I'm just going to dump them out. You're going to dump out your sand? Oh, five of them. Okay. That's like a memory of being here. All right. So there is normal sand now on the blood-soaked, gore-filled sand. Yep. Yeah, okay. Perfect. We yeah, have we now good. have normal sand here, folks. <laughs> it's very important. What if we get to a room that's a duplicate of this room, and we'll know because we got normal sand. That's actually genius. I'm quite sure this new sand will just soak up the old blood of a new one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I get my chalk out and I draw a smiley face on the on the wall, so we know that this is the right one. <laughs> what, what, which wall? The, the north wall. Oh, the wall that has no shields on it. Correct. Gotcha. Yeah, no shields. All so right. it just well, says, ha ha ha, smiley face. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha ha, smiley face. All right. Draw a winky face. So, uh, if you guys want to start going in the direction you wish to go. Uh, eat around the corner. Uh, yep. Uh, nothing seems to be... Just double check. All my walls are in place. My walls are in place. Excellent. Oh, I guess I'll like, continue edging forward with my 10 foot pole out. All right. <laughs> just tapping uh, like a blind person using uh, their stick? Just lightly tapping. Okay. Sanan's not much for adventures, so he's, he doesn't know what he's doing, so he's sort of tiptoeing like in Scooby-Doo. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to take Cannon's hand, and we just walk oh. there hand in hand, jolly through on the mountain. <laughs> well, ah, don't, yes. be, don't be alarmed, guys, if I disappear. I am invisible to dark sight as a gloomstalker. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you can't find me, just get a torch and shine it around. <laughs> Who said so that? So, remembering from the map, it looks like we're coming up on the plate about bending steel plates with your thighs. That sounds like something for Becky. Uh, Draz, you're the one that is invisible, right? The dark side, yeah. All right, just give me one oh, second. Uh... So, we just see this 10-foot pole just floating <laughs> in the air. Ah, beauteous. Du, 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 du. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky. We'll do sneaky. Because uh, of my elven kind boots, you can't hear me either. <laughs> oh, you smart man. Huh. So lucky one of us got 2200 gold. That was very helpful. <laughs> yeah. All right. But luckily we can't see you because you have a halfling following your ass who has a torch. It's the light. Yeah. By, yeah. by the way, Torig, I, you, you know why I'm asking this, but... Uh, you, you know your voice. Are you? Is that voice naturally loud? It is. I actually can't do it. It's quiet. Okay. Good. Good. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Uh, I have disadvantage on stealth and everything. All right. As you get, I, as, I you, as you, fights. as you begin, uh, dress, as you begin to cut around the corner, you notice that the five foot by five foot walls um, begin to change drastically. To the point where, cancel, let's see, um, right here. Each 10-foot section here, let's see, uh, seems to depict carvings here. Uh, so the walls sort of curve in just slightly. There's an archway that looks like a door. It's hollowed out a little bit. And there seem to be statues of creatures. Um and on each five foot section including the ones to the south as soon as becky cernan and um triage thank you very much for the sub um i need the have subscribed i need the three uh holy sanctums to give me a religion check please uh -huh. Uh, do we roll public? Oh, shoot. That is a good thing to ask. Does it ask you whenever you roll? 
It yeah. does. That's all right. why I'm awesome. All right. So like, all, no. all, all new players uh, and all players. So the way it works here, and I got to look at character sheets really quick. All um, saving throws, all skill checks, uh, and all death save throws are whispered to the DM. All attack rolls are open to the public. So this sort of kills some of what, what I call the dice meta. So where if a rogue searches for traps and they roll a one, nobody knows that they roll a one. The, the, the rogue will be confident in their ability to be like, hey, everything seems clear to you. Okay, so it's just attack rolls, right, that are public? Correct. Uh, stupid question time is how do I roll a dice? Uh, you click on your ability on your character sheet and it lights up with a little red outline. And you click on that and then a window pops up that says um, all manners of things. And then you just select normal. And then it rolls the dice for you. Uh, uh, Alright, hmm? Becky, you know that... Um, I'm still waiting for the third roll. Oh, yeah, just give Sorry. me a second so you can figure um, it out. Yep, Norris. Oh, perfect. Um, so, Becky... Also, just Tarnas, Tarnas, great thing that I just noticed in Foundry for the other place, it actually says, like, Callaghan privately rolled some dice. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just question marks. Yeah. Lovely. Great. All right. So, uh, Kalugan and Elmas uh, know that each statue depicts... Um, on the north wall are devils, and the south wall are demons. So each section has a statue depicting devils and demons. Uh, I'll tell the other people that. Tonus, can I, uh, does anyone here have shape water? I, I know. Uh, I, I do. Uh, yeah. So I would ask one of our spellcasters with shape water if he would help me set up a trap. His uh, point as sure. well. Sure. Absolutely fun. So Someone... I'm just. Continue. No, 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 you go. I was just going to say, if someone's got the decanter of endless water, we can yeah, use that's that me. to look for... Yeah, that's me. We can use that to look for, like, hidden doors and stuff to see where the water fits in the cracks. Yeah. So what I was going to do is I was going to have them freeze two pittens together, tie a string and a bell, just as, like, an alarm trap. If someone would like to do that. Uh, yes, I'll do it. Because humoring people is, is, is fine. So, Tarnus, I'm going to basically take out my decanter of water, just 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 a gallon, uh, put a pitten down in, like, wet water around the pitten, and then uh, have him sort of, like, freeze the pitten to the ground. Okay. Uh, and so that's going to be, like, on both sides of the hallway. Uh, and then I will take a piece of string, uh, wrap it around both pittens, uh... And then I'll just put like a little bell on on one side, just as like a little a noise trap. All right, so like right here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, dinner so bell we, it is. Guess we gotta carefully step over that. Yep, <laughs> just big yep. step over that. I'm looking at the map, and I'm guessing there's like a, it looks like there's like a secret door on this like self section, like the demon side. Oh, let me look at them. Like there's the, the little you know, secret marker. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, kind of across from where there should be an opening to the north. I'm gonna carefully walk across to where I think it is. There is an opening to the north. Yeah, be careful about that. So it should be on the wall opposite from this opening. Is it directly opposite? 
Yeah, it's directly opposite. Please tell yeah. the map to fix it. Uh... Uh, I guess I could decant of water it, see if we get any crevices. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to pour out, like, probably five gallons. Um, nothing seems to, like, it, it moves along like it normally would. Can I make an investigation roll? Just yep. That uh, be you because roll. you have the map, go ahead and give it to me with advantage. Stand guard at this door. All right. Um, <clears throat> it seems to be like a solid, sturdy wall here, and that's for this ten-foot section right here in front of Draz. Okay. You want to just go down the wall? Maybe the map is wrong. Well, surely a dwarf would not lie. Wait, I look up. We haven't checked the ceiling yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you you checked this like. Full section, so okay. Full section. Of, There's nothing yep. alarming on the ceiling, though. Yep. Uh, the ominous intent is up there. <laughs> so I've noticed the map hasn't, um, like it doesn't hasn't got past this bit to the left filled in. That's a big question mark. Oh yeah. I mean, do we want to help draw the map, or Becky uh, as team leader? Nope. Nope. Not nope. a fan of question marks? Got it. So Not we a head... Not different questions. <laughs> so would you like to head north, Becky? Well, I see the ten-foot pole moving about, and it seems to be investigating the wall. Uh... And due to my short-term memory loss, I keep forgetting why we are looking at the southern wall. <laughs> There's supposedly a secret door on the southern wall, but... It may not be where the map says it is. Because this hallway is a bit longer than it appears on the map, so maybe it's more towards the right or left. Uh, you know, so we I guess... could just oh. We could just not follow the map. That's, that's true. That is an option. That's true. That's true. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm a little curious about further to the north uh, where it's marked as death unfortunately um, also does connect a dotted line that goes down to the southmost portion of the map with loot that is true by well, passing the area like of the first order of business as I am the obvious group leader is heading back to the northern secret door and opening it up as an alternative escape. I mean, tactical retreat route. I like the way you think, Becky. Uh, of think course that's... you do. That's a wise decision, comrades. North it is. Uh, Let's just ten, ignore. Ten foot pole, would you like to lead us? Away we go. We actually have never seen the character. <laughs> it's just always been a pole. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is uh, uh, ominous. All right, in this room, Ooh. give me one second. Yada, yada, yada. This room has changed from what I've known. All right. <clears throat> um, an un so there seems to be a stone tree trunk uh, in this room with a bunch of uh, blood pooled on the... the the trunk and below it you also see a severed hand and a sword sort of stabbed into the stone uh the oh. sword seems to be glowing a lightish blue here hmm. can i history who's good at history who's got a good knowledge of swords and craftsmanship who's got identified oh i that, do that's um <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Identify on this glowy sword. Alrighty. Um, are you, do you have it as a ritual or is this a straight cast? Uh, it's a, it's a straight cast. Straight cast. All right. Um, it is, and... uh, it seems to be, this uh, sword seems to be imbued with, um, just a glow. 
this sword also does not seem to um so it it glows for about five feet uh dim and it also seems to never rust or get dirty So it's enchanted to not get dirty. Correct. All right. Uh, uh, hey, guys, we got some stuff to sell, I guess. Uh, not a swordsman. and not looking for gold down here. Are we, uh, are we not concerned about the severed hand? Oh, yes, that too. Uh, is the severed hand touching the sword? No, it is uh, on the ground below it, like right on the bottom part of it. So, thinking here, guys, uh, someone cut the, someone or something cut someone's hand off. Uh, okay, working theory here, what if the sword is animated or cursed, and it's cut the hand off the last person who tried to take it? So, like, you pick the sword up and it cuts your, your hand off? Yeah, like, you've got to touch it and it, like, slashes at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, how, much, there... how much does everyone value their hands? Uh, I was going to say, is there much. a blood trail leading away from the hand? No, there does not seem to be. Mm. How fresh is, is it? What was that? How fresh is the blood? Oh, it is It is very dried. Mm -hmm. Should I I'll, throw I'll a boomerang at the sword? All right, who's the grip? I already, All right. already cast it in. Uh, that's Elimus? Yes. All right. So you go ahead and you grab the sword and you just pull it right out. You now have a sword. Sweet, I'm the king of England. Let's go. Simple as that. <laughs> what is this England you speak of? It sounds right. like a dreary place. Give me one second. So I gotta. Edit, oh, we're gonna add an item to your character sheet. Let's see, Elimus. I really want to say, uh, the Westwood Salvaging LPBE is very interested in all things magical, so if you want to sell it for a great <laughs> bargain, just come right up to our shop. Uh, da, 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 da. No, no, because that's the shop. I want to do PHB weapons inventory. I'm going to give you a longsword. Drag longsword over. Yes, use the importer. The halfling with the longsword. The halfling with the longsword. It's like a great sword to you. Takes a one longsword overburned. It's glowing, it's alright. We're just piling up light sources onto it. <laughs> <laughs> How many halflings does it take to change a light bulb? None. They just glow on their own. Did anyone check out what hand, what the hand looks like, or anything's on the hand, or anything like that? No, I think the half one just picked up the sword. That no, has to quit. <clears throat> All right, so Elimus, you got the sword in hand. You're good to go. Yeah, and talking about hands, um, what's the other like? What does the hand look like? Uh, it's 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 sort of a, a shriveled up hand. The hand has been here for a while. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find this light source because this light source is on you now. Is it an STD? No. You're good. All right. Um, yeah, it's just a, a shriveled up hump. I, pro I prodded it. Is it chopped off the or torn Um, sorry, the... Light is on him. Hold on one second. Because vision. Oh, Soul transmitted disease. All right. Actually, I know what, what I can do. I know what I can what do. What was the radius that the light shone? Uh, it's just a five feet dim, so it doesn't go past your. Oh, just five foot. Yep. Yeah. I need this. Just gonna. I was going to ask if it was similar to, like, a fairy fire. Uh, that it uh, is. It, it, it does seem to be a, a, a lesser version of fairy fire. Wait, so it shows uh, invisible stuff? 
I guess you can walk over to the invisible. Oh god! Right. Boom! Oh god! Make the the brightness stop. All right. He has it. Send it. On that note, how do I mark that I've used a spell on the system? Uh, it's got a garbage can, but I think that might just remove. No. Uh, let's see. You only got the intensity down, not the radius. It's still forty twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it was only like a five foot radius or something. No, like this, this remember, he has light cast upon him. Uh, oh, so you mean light. Okay, never mind. I'm done. Uh, let's see. So, you cast a spell. We're, st we're, we're figuring out Foundry here. Uh, oh, a halfling has become a sun. <laughs> the reason I ask about fairy fires, it may also make you easier to hit if you are carrying it. That's a good point. I mean, It is yeah. under mountain. Surely there are no cursed items down here. That's a good question. I, I can't figure out... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Prepared spells. You might ha have to mark it on your... Uh... Oh, it looks like it may automatically do it. All right. Yeah, yeah. When uh... you click the cast spell, you can choose the spell slot. It t it'll tell you how many slots you have, and you can check a box that says consume spell slot. Oh, am I looking at completely the wrong... Where do you... I'm just looking at spell book. Is there yeah, a... I went to yeah. spell book, and then I clicked... The... When you click on the spell, I don't actually click on the name. I click on the image, and it it's... pops up with like a dice image. Click on the dice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. and then it'll, it'll consume it. All right, and then lo the rest lets you get it back. All right. Yeah. All right, Alimus, um so you're using the longsword? Uh, or... No, it's going in the bag. All right. As you put it in the bag, you realize you cannot let go of this sword. It's cursed. Oh. Okay, it's cursed. cursed. What a Want twist. Lot. So I guess the guy just didn't want the sword. Um, can we get that's like... why the hand is on the floor? He oh, we cut his hand. Yeah. Okay, so if we want to hide the light, I've got a sack. We can wrap a sack around it, I guess. That might dim it. But that's gonna wrap the sack around his hand too. I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's already light cast on. Yeah, yeah. it's only I five feet. It, it it's not gonna make him harder to hit. It, it or easier to hit. It's going to make the sword easier to hit. and Not very many people go after a sword. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the halfling, get up my own sword, and just ask him, Do you require amputation? <laughs> uh, pass. Uh, what do you say? Pass. Pass. Very well, let's continue opening up the other door. Can I um, take the severed hand and tie it to the end of my ten-foot pole for a little bit extra reach? <laughs> <laughs> I like this plan. Um, what? Just okay, you know, you're, 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 you're Delver's League. Um, first off, we have three LG characters in this group. Will you all allow this? <laughs> Oh, I'm concentrating on the door. I don't see this right oh, now. Oh, I'm looking at the door with my okay. wife. Okay, yeah. So it, whatever he does, you, he you, does. You now have a hand. It, it only adds like a few more inches, but that's about it. It's extra Every inch counts. Inch counts. <laughs> uh, Tynus, I'm going to... Uh, so is this just a no normal under mountain door? Yes, actually. I get yeah, to I get... show the art. We had to have this commissioned because I was tired of explaining how a door looks. There's people who don't know what doors look like. The, this is, I mean, it's a specific door. Um, so, so this door is stone. Um, the door does not have a knob or a handle on it. You actually have to lift the knocker up and twist it to the left or right for that doorknob action. I guess I'll just check if you the could, door's you unlocked. You guys could just dismantle the door if you didn't want to actually just open it. No, I'll just check if it's unlocked. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to see if, I can, um, if yeah. there's any slack to it. It is unlocked, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, All right. I'm, I'm going to look at my knocker, wife. Put lightly knock first and then attempt to open it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you knock. Becky go. And uh, go ahead. You can just click on the door handle. Man, let's make it man, bitch. <laughs> Um, while they're messing with the door, can I check out the stump that this tree was in? Is it, like, actually growing from the ground? Uh, no, it seems to have been, um, it looks like it's part of the stone that was, uh, the floor was made of. So the, st the tree trunk and the floor are all one piece of stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay thinking maybe someone did that with like shape stone or just some really good carving um i was actually just looking for a weak spot in the floor mm, smoke uh <laughs> oh it looks like becky's continuing i will follow my wife <laughs> tall man get up here <laughs> <Set a hand. laughs> that's dastardly draz draz where did you get a hand? Since when does your uh, pole have grown a hand? It's a, it's a special pole. <laughs> Very well, take a special pole and go northwards. According to the map, that is where we go to secret door. Yes. Secret door, secret <coughs> door. Cernan's just very excited right now. He's right. just going to sing under his breath about which, which direction. <laughs> Play uh, continues the right. Shut up, husband. We're attempting to be quiet here. <sighs> Me, why the armor collects and everything. <laughs> yeah, I believe it's this way to the secret door. I... Why did I just roll as a Laz Alanis? There we go. Oh, I know. I there never like when you roll, Tynus. Alright, there we go. I, I, just That's right. I just needed to know. I just needed to know. somebody who redeemed uh, all so all I, I, I'm sorry. People. I, haven't, I haven't been paying attention to the posture checks. Oh, right. They are the thing. It'd be even scarier if you just rolled like secretly, and we just talk about question marks. I, do I you see, do you see these? Myself. Oh, we see those rolls. Okay, I am now yeah. making. Hold on. Yeah, we saw the fifty-two. Uh, you guys are moving faster than my computer can load them. <laughs> okay, yep. now now I'm we scared. only get question marks. <laughs> That's great. Hold on. Right. Okay, let's, so, let's try this one. We've 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 deviated a little bit from what's drawn on the map. Wait, really? Yeah, because we have been going directly east. There was no movement north before we continued to go east, and now there's a spot that can drop back south. No, I think yeah, it's still the go, map. I, we go south, I, and then I think we go south, south and then again. Straight. Yeah, yeah. I'm just Is saying that little it's, yet, it's not no, identical to map. what we yeah. see. Well, the person who made this map might have been a, like you never know. They're, they're trying yeah. their best, okay? I think that, that door probably leads to that area where traps are written, I guess. Yeah, that may be so, it. The door to our north here should be technically what's labeled as janitors. Oh. No, I believe that is the hallway that's coming up. Ah, uh, yes, I see you what he means. Dwarf. Yeah, I this is the hallway no that is coming up. Underground mining or dungeon activities. All right, so what you see here, this this wall, you do see what looks to be a door on this side. Uh, it, it doesn't show it. There's no way for me to show a half a secret door. and uh, half a secret. Oh, okay. So there, on so, this side, there is a door. It, it, it is barred on this side. You can lift up the bar and open it if you want. Go for it, Draz. Okay, um, I, open, I unbar it. Okay. Do I nope. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I think I, I think we should open it and maybe I've got some iron spikes so I could try and jam it open. That's my. Uh, I'm gonna go in the room and check if this is the same room. Do I look in the exact spot? I place the sand right where I'm standing. Is, yep. there, is there? Yes, still there. Some there sand? is fresh sand there. Ah, perfect. Let it be the fresh sand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll use one of my iron spikes to try and like keep it open. All right, so you just hammer it into place. You're good to go. Uh, so where to now? We've opened the secret door, Becky. All right, group of valiants and other There's things. There's another door up north. Do not go to the northern door. You follow me, young man. We uh, shall follow Becky. the map to what is labeled as undead, for that is our holy quest. 
Yes, I agree, Becky. So, uh, wait, we shall wait, not go oh. north to the death, the traps, or the janitors. Whatever the janitors are. We oh. shall go to what says undead and traps, and also death. <laughs> uh, okay. But there is a lot of things labeled evil, and that is what I do not like. <laughs> that is why I married Goody Two Shows here. Ah, uh, thank you. I take that as a compliment, my beauteous Becky. Oh my God, it hurts. My yep. character Go just off. shakes his head. <laughs> I Your think it's one before cringe damage. I think maybe it's good we're avoiding the janitors, because... Yeah, janitors usually clean stuff up, and whatever cleans stuff up in Undermountain scares me. Yeah. Yeah. Pole man, come up here! Pole away. Pole hand, man. So... What's his name again? Draz. Draz. Draz! I believe we go south now, Draz. So we're going all the way back? Yeah, but Not take a... Quite. take a... Go to the west at this intersection. Are you sure you can trust this map? Um, I mean, it says not to trust... We're, we're supposed to trust the map. We're just not supposed to trust Diamond. <laughs> so, whoever that, uh, uh, whoever that may be. Who was Diamond? I'm trying to remember. It was my character. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it! Isn't it also like a dragon pet in World of Warcraft? Uh, let's see. Uh, it was my silly dwarf. Oh god, guys, uh, the map. Where to next? The map's deviating again. Like, this north bit isn't on it. That's true. The I do not care about the north bit. We shall head south. <laughs> to the undead we go. Obviously. I do right. warn you guys, be careful of, of spores. That is what killed my dear sister. And I what, believe we go down spores? here. Ah, uh, I do not know. I just know spores. Alright, so... Alright, let's go to the... Oh yeah, by the way, today's TPK is brought to you by the number 14 and the letter K. Alright. I knew I forgot something. I had like a little script and I forgot to read it. Alright. So, as you uh, begin to walk... To th things begin to actually slope downwards a little bit. In this hallway. And as it begins to slope downwards, you begin to notice a liquid before you. I prod the liquid with the hand on the stick. Okay. Uh, as you, like, prod it, um, I mean, nothing happens to the stick. This isn't Willow. Um, it, it, you pull the hand back, and it does seem to be like there is an oily substance on the, uh, the hand. Okay, decanter of water. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast it. You're doing what? Uh, I'm gonna blast the oily substance with my decanter of water. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. The oil even float up even more. Yeah. Yeah. The solution, the pollution is dilution. <laughs> yeah. <the solution. laughs> uh, where is my decanter of endless water? Uh, by the way, how high is the ceiling? Uh, uh, everything attention. so far, unless stated otherwise, is ten feet tall. Oh. There it is. The just gonna flood on the mountain, wait for the water so to drain. So I am and going descend. to speak geyser and produce thirty gallons of water that gush forth in a geyser thirty feet long and one foot wide. All right. Let's see. The water level seems to have raised just slightly as you spray all the oil and it settles and starts to come back. Guys, courageous leader, I'm just gonna go in it. <laughs> Why don't we just? We, you know, we could just burn the oil, then it wouldn't be a wait, problem anymore. Wait, wait. So Be 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 Becky right? immediately like just steps into the water. It's about. I am like, running out of patience. Ankle. It's, <clears throat> it's about ankle deep here. Couldn't we just shape water and make it like? You can all, you can only you can only shape so much though. That's true. Uh, you could mold earth. Just go and oh, find uh, some wait. earth. And then Can't you change the thing, the, um... thing. Do extinguish the torch. Preferably not in the oil. Well, um, he has light. He extinguished the torch. Yeah. So wait a second. Yeah, I, we, I um, didn't remember we... if he said that he extinguished the torch or not. Uh, oh, the I don't think. Ball. Um, 
typically shape water to remove the water portion from the oil because the oil's not water. Mm. Well, I trust my wife. I, I step in. Uh, hmm. Becky, would you like to hold hands and cross the, the oily river? I'm busy holding my shield currently. Uh, I'll just hold on to it. Uh, by the way, I do have a sheet of expression and it's just making the derpiest of faces. <laughs> because what else? It's basically Becky's face as the avatar. Nice. God. All right. Yeah, basically the token. So both Cernan and Becky are now in the water. They're, uh, go They're moving forward. Um, uh, by the way, still... right about there, you're about shoulder deep now, Becky. How tall is uh, Becky? keep going lower and it does seem to be going deeper okay well, let's back out becky <laughs> you're not the swimmer with I'm... your metal line there not in that armor uh, but the good thing it's now oiled uh the ceiling does not slope down no oh okay i'm just gonna fly over the water <laughs> that's right you got all right. Oh, can I hand you? Can I hand you a rope before you go across that we can like spool over? Uh, just remembering that if you pull the rope, I weigh like seventy pounds. I'll give you a pit on to try and secure it to something on the other side. Okay. So slowly and carefully, not going into any further traps. Um... See, Tarn is why I keep trying to smuggle a boat into Under Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys could have brought a canoe. <laughs> Oh, I keep well, trying I... to buy a canoe, and Tardis keeps saying no. There, there are two of us with shape water, right? We could make like an ice disc out of the water that's there and set somebody on it and kind of with the 10-foot pole, gondola ride down into the water a bit farther. Is there anything uh, um, around the corner? It just looks like that. Uh, just It just seems to curve to the west again. Uh, is the water clear? Uh, no, it's still oily, just like, uh, it is. Mm. It, it looks the color it looks on the screen. Hmm. <laughs> so this is a toilet. I mean, it's oily, um, it's not shit-filled. Oh, okay. Um, the sorcerer being a scout is kind of a bad idea. Risky move, uh, yeah. I'm sure I won't immediately die. Oh, I'm going to cast Mage Armor, so I have an AC. Okay. Um, <coughs> I, I like the ice con. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do also like the... Uh, uh, what is it, let's see, what does that do again? 13 plus Dexterity modifier, so that puts you at 16. Hooray! I mean, yeah, that's a, it's a very carefully and slowly look around the corner. All right. Uh, as you peek around the corner, I'm going to move you just to peek around the corner, and it, it seems to end up over there. Hmm. Uh, oh, all right. Wait, what? Down one. Um, so there's a... Is that a staircase up or a staircase down? That That's a staircase up, or uh, it's a ramp up. We didn't have any... So it seems to end it uh, up over here. I can't ping anymore. I gotta get ping. Uh, how, much, how much space is there between the surface of the water and the ceiling? Is it still like ten feet? It is still ten feet. All right. So fly up to the very top of the ceiling and very yeah. Then keep going. Oh yeah, those guys wanted a rope, so I guess like I don't know, hammer a rope into the corner here. Okay. I don't know how to make a mark. So you you mark you put the... you put the Pitting into the wall, and then you uh, keep flying with the rope. I'll just say, hey, guys, totally safe. Hmm. I guess um, okay. I'd like could... to follow him. And I'm quite, I'm not wearing heavy armor. I'm quite the s swimmer, I'd say. Uh, so I will, I'll trust Becky with my life, and I will give her a rope tied to my waist. And I'll tell her, every 10 feet, I will tug. If I do not tug, pull me back. But I'll also be ho holding on to the rope attached to the pitten. Uh, so just double security. 
Sticky notes. Okay, so I will. So you said about Kiewit's shoulder height? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start swimming then. All right, um, you, you are holding on to the rope, so you, ba you, you can basically just hold on and keep uh, trading water here. Yeah. The rope stops here, I assume. Correct. Uh, and does it look like the water gets shallower as it goes? Um, you're still, you can't touch the ground here. I will say hello, Elimus. Uh, hmm. I'm going to attempt to swim the rest of the way. All right. Uh, uh, then... Give me a swim check then after I'm letting... That's athletics, correct? Yep. And then uh, right before I give the swim check, I'll give my tug again. And you begin to sink. I guess as I you as you actually touch the the ground, let's see. It is a bit mucky. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. Just double checking. Nothing grabs you yet. Okay. All right. Yet. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably do the smoke thing and add guidance to myself. Yep. Uh, how do I roll that? Oh, now I just cast it several times. Uh, athletic. Just panic guidance. <laughs> and just roll 1d4. <clears throat> uh, situational bonus 1d4. Private general. Alright. How did I roll? So, oh my god. Uh, How did... So there's been no tug for a little bit. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, Alimus, are you going to continue forward or are you staying there? Uh, are you just going to watch me drown? I, I don't even, do I even see him drowning? I mean, he's right next to you. Oh, he is? You are emitting light. Uh, but he's, he's under the surface of the water. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he, he, oh, yeah he, you did see him just dip, dip, like drop. He's You can no longer see him. Um, I mean, I'm like the last person to be good at helping someone who's under the surface of water. Uh, okay. I'll say, hey guys, this guy might have some trouble swimming. Come help him. Um, I'm going to step forward and use shape water to create myself a small Becky, I think that's your cue. floating chunk of ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and pull myself along with the rope. Yeah, I'm also starting to pull. I will help Becky pull. So you're pulling the rope back, so you're pulling the limus back. No, they're pulling me back. The rope tied to my no, waist. No, I'm putting, oh, okay. I'm putting my husband. I don't give a shit about it, the halfling. I'm putting my <laughs> husband back. Uh, uh, Nothing personal, halfling. Yes. All right, give me, one, give me one second. Right, uh, everyone, everyone go ahead and stop moving for one second. I haven't used one of these in a while. It feels like somebody just rolled for a random encounter. <laughs> Well, I'm drowning. That's not very nice. All right. That's fine. Everyone, go ahead. Everyone except Cernan, go ahead and roll me a perception check. <laughs> Public or private GM roll? All skill checks Always are private. private. Um, Burnin and Ver, you hear this ungodly wail coming from behind you this way. You see my mouse? Yeah. Yeah. 
It seemed to come from more of this direction. All right. That being said, let's let's do this. 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 Oh, hold on. Oh, also, um, Becky had guidance, if it matters. Everyone, go okay, ahead and it. roll me initiative. Yay! Oh, oh. Drowning, too? Yep. Got it. Uh, what's initiative on your sheets? Uh, yeah, what is initiative, actually? Uh, 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 right everyone, go ahead and, you know, okay. if you look at combat tracker, if you just go to combat tracker, Yep. And click on the die. All right. Somehow, somehow I have a point one six bonus on initiative. No, it's your dex. That's your dexterity score. Oh. oh. So if there's ever a tie, uh, it, it literally just sorts it by score. Cool. All right. That being said, oh, yeah. Go ahead and um. This will be Draz. What you doing after you heard the whale? Which direction is the whale coming from again? It came from behind the, you. Yep, behind you. This over here. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'll move to here. Okay. Oh, okay. That looks like a ghost or a wraith of some kind. <laughs> All of the others to alert them that there is a that there is a spooky monster coming. <laughs> spooky monster, <laughs> everyone! And uh, I guess I'll just attack it straight away with my bow, so I can still get my dread ambusher bonuses. Okay. The first turn. Right, I'll roll an attack on here. Uh, just w if you go to your character sheet. Uh, yeah, go to inventory. Oh, then click on the item I want to attack with. And then click on the dot, the, basically the icon. Yeah, I see it. All right, and then you click um, in the chat window, you see attack. From so, the first one? Yep. Uh, that will hit. Attacks are public, by the way. Yep. And because it's Dread Amateur, I get... I can make an additional one. So I'll roll that as well. I'll roll the damage for this one first. Standard arrows. All right. It's the damage I just rolled for the first attack. Alrighty. Uh, it does seem to hit. Cool. Um, I'll roll the second attack I get from Dread Ambusher then. Alright. Does that hit? Give me one second. That will hit as well. Cool. I'll roll this attack as well. And this one does an extra D8, 1D8 damage because it's the Dread Ambush attack. Okay. Just add that. Oh, I love. I absolutely love this. Did that auto add the one DA on? Does that work? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. No. All right. Yeah, I I love Foundry because I can literally just right click it and take the damage on the token. That's it's amazing. Very smooth. That's nice. I like this. All right. Um. By the way, you're. The bullets seem to make their mark, but still go through it a little bit. Aw, not even with my plus one magic bow. <laughs> Sad times. Hang on, it's a magic bow. There, there's plus there, one bow, yep, but it doesn't yep. make the ammunition. There's magic. a difference between a plus oh. one bow and a plus one arrow. Yeah. 
It depends on what like. you hit it with. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that was Draz, I think. Hey, hold on. Um, I'll just, I got like a couple bit feet of movement left. So I'm just... Cause you move 25, what's your speed? I get extra 10 on because of Dread right. Ambush, uh, but I have 30 movement base. All right, so how do I do that? I'm sorry, I'm... No worries. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, oh, begin combat, next. All right, so that will be Bungren, your turn. Oh my god, it does rounds. This is amazing. It lets you know how many rounds have passed. I love this. <laughs> I'm so used to push through. Anyway, what direction was he attacking in? You saw an arrow fly north. Fly north. Okay. I still don't see anything from here. There oh, we go. Oh, nice. Thank you. So I'll move here and I'll just cast Firebolt on the sucker. Firebolt. Spooky, scary skeletons. How do I cast a spell from the character sheet? It should be click on the icon. Yeah, not the name, the icon. And then go back to the chat and click attack. Okay. Now you're back at the chat and you see attack and damage. Right, and you want that to be a public role, right? All, all, of it, all of combat is public. I just want to reread Banshee really quick. Eight, that will miss. Okay. Anything else from you? Anything else from you? One second, please. Please hold. No, I'm going to go ahead because I moved at 20, so I'll just move back down here. <clears throat> also, thank you to the one who said they were going to help me pull my husband out of the water and then just abandon me. Don't <laughs> worry, I have an idea, Becky. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so that is, ideas. those are my actions. All right, that's Bungren Cernan. Okay, so a decanter <clears throat> of water can push a creature 15 feet. God. If I would have pointed in a direction and yell geyser, could it also push me 15 feet back towards Becky? Uh, oh, or, it can, no <clears throat> or you <clears throat> it can hear the vibrations. Uh, you can point it towards the wall and push you away from it. Yeah, that's basically what I want to do. So, to get towards Becky. All right. Um, give me a wisdom check really quick because you are now underwater. <sighs> and you've been thrashing about. The good thing is you can't go any further because Becky is holding the rope. Ability check or save? Oh, uh, actually, never mind. You're good. You're good. The rope, you know, you can go the opposite way the rope is pulling you. So, yeah. yeah go okay. ahead. Uh, so, that'll push I'm you. I'm going to geyser right. and move myself 15 feet. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three. I'd yep. be here. And, and then, as movement, can I try and swim? Uh, yep. Go ahead and give me uh, mm. athletics again. And remember, it's going to be half your movement here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you you finally make it topside, and you can grab back onto the rope. Oh, thank <clears> heavens! <throat> like. Oh, uh, wait, so I have my movement, so I was... So one, one... Two, three, one, two, three. It would yep. just be half my movement. There we go. 
All right, so that is Cernan. Becky. You got shoulder height, right? <clears throat> uh, one more, one more, you'll actually be, be above water again. But okay. you're holding on to the rope and pulling yourself along as you swim, so you're good. Yeah. Becky, you finally see your husband again? Okay, and he's not in immediate danger of drowning. Correct. Okay, wonderful. Let go of the rope. <laughs> um, pull out my trusted sword and shield. Um, and... Honey, I'm gonna go and do paladin things. Be right back. <laughs> um... Oh, this um, is gonna be slightly one, confusing, Tynus, but if three, she is four, not within 30 five. feet of me, her AC is minus two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. no worries. I would, would have reminded me anyway. And I see the Banshee. At least I'm very sure that's one. It's an und it, it definitely looks ghost-like. Alright. And with that, I will move my last square forward before I'm out of movement. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? They did do ceremony, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did a ceremony. We, got a wedding. Uh, we had a wonderful destination wedding. I thought it was a staycation. Pandemic and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the parents were mad that I was just hanging out with a group of guys, so I just pulled one of the random ones aside and said, like, this is my husband now. All right, so what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Trash. Check the damage types. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I'm just reading chat. Don't worry about it. Okay. What are they saying? No, don't worry about How it. How much am I getting bullied? Um. Ah. Uh, can't dash with bonus action. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, I am. Um... I'm just gonna eat a javelin and add it, whatever. <laughs> Eating javelin. Yeah. Um, so inventory. And javelin. Wolf attack. The normal roll. That will indeed hit. Nice. <laughs> and roll for damage. That's a normal hit. Alright. The javelin seems to stick, but then go through a little bit. Just give me six seconds, I'll be right with you. <laughs> All right. Anything else for me, Becky? Um, except that the shield is just shifting into an angry version of Becky. All right, Verder. I think it's bonus action. Let me <laughs> check on that. Yeah, bonus action to alter the face's expression. So yeah, now it's angry Becky time. Everyone seems to be running to the right. <clears throat> yeah. Um. So is Siernan's head above water currently? Oh yeah, he's also holding onto the rope. Okay. Um, so I'm sitting on an ice disc, kind of propelling myself with the quarter staff. Um, so I'm going to grab that rope and use my movement to pull us farther All over. Right. So half movement here. Alright, so you're dragging. Five, 10... 15. All right, and then you can pretty much just step on land. <clears throat> um, I mean, they're nice and lubed up. Certainly can now touch the ground. Oh, Everything's good. God. Um, Are you counting that as an action or just movement? Uh, that uh, grabbing would be the action, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. I just wanted to make sure. Um... Yeah, that'll do it for my turn then. All right, Alamis, everyone seems to have abandoned you. Yeah, well, I, I hear some kind of commotion, so I guess I will. Well, you definitely heard Becky. Dude. Well, in the end, everybody hears Becky. 
<laughs> yeah. Halister is... Halister plus it is reading Rogue going like, what the fuck is that woman? Uh, I guess from here I can't even see anything. So, rest of the turn is two, three, four, five. Still can't see anything. Is this white thing, is that our ally? The green one? Mr. Oh. Beard? Yep. It doesn't tell me who it is. Oh, I'm sorry. It should show name to everybody. Let me just double check. Yeah, name, display name should show for everyone. But yeah, he's your team. Uh, how do I do display name other than just clicking it? It just, may just be <clears throat> because it's in a wall. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I, yeah. I'll take. <clears throat> I don't. I don't see any monster here, right? Yep. No monsters. Okay. I'll just. All right. Um, I'll see. I guess our friends swimming along and say, you know, um, that was yeah, jolly good swimming. Without the good work. All right, and that's that's, that's, that's your it. Oh. Yeah, well, there's nothing to shoot. Yep. I'm curious. What does this do? Yada yada yada. I'll save that for later. Badoomch. Everyone who can see the Banshee. Oh, hold on. There I we go. I can't hide behind the shield. <laughs> <clears throat> Each non-undead creature within 60 feet that can see. So that's everyone. Uh, Becky, Draz, and Dungren. Um I need a DC 13 saving throw whispered to me, please. Which skull? Uh, this is a wisdom saving throw. If you go to chat, you should see a button. Just click on your token and click on the button. Oh, yeah. Saving throw. Oh, that's really cool. This is very smooth. Yeah, that is really nice. Uh oh. So I'm waiting for Dungren. Alright, it's telling me I have to have a controlled icon. Or click on your token first, then click on the button. Okay. Alright, so. Da -da -da -da. I mean, can the Banshee even... Well, no, Dress can see the Banshee. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, Dress can't see me. He can't see me, but I can see it. <laughs> Burning, frozen, shocked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking for... Not radioactive. There's just this aura of something. I see silenced. Afraid. There we go. Yeah, Dress muffled scream. <laughs> <laughs> All you get off Dress is just the ticker of his mustache has when you're nearby. Because <laughs> I don't know why, but you'll... Picture looks a lot like you have just this giant mustache. He does have a big mustache. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So note to self: mu uh, nose hairs do not make a good mustache substitute. <laughs> One, two, three. By the way, Becky, you see this creature floating through the walls. Bitch. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, that should be. Oh, did I get back yet? Enter my attack of opportunity range. Actually, hold up. Uh, I saw it. For One, a two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yep, right here. I have seen one of my targets. Alright, let's see. And then I accidentally killed this. There we go. Sorry. That's uh, Banshee. Round two, Draz! It seems to have come right in front of you now. <laughs> and you are afraid. Oh no. Can it. Does it know that I'm there though? It, it does indeed know you are there. It senses your life. Oh no. 
I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I'm afraid, I'm going to have to move away from it right on my turn. Uh, you cannot move towards it. Towards it, okay. So you would have to, uh, and if you attack it, you're at disadvantage. Disadvantage, yeah. So what is your plan? Um, I guess I'm going to have to start moving back to get some range. I guess I'll just try and attack with disadvantage. Alright. Attack versus disadvantage. Alright. Oh, wait, so you're just moving away? I'm going to move away first. Alright. So it will take an attack for opportunity, but it will be at disadvantage. Cool. Uh, I like those odds. Does a 16 hit? That's on my AC. All right. So that will be 10 necrotic damage. I am resistant to necrotic damage, so I'll take five points. <laughs> nice. And honestly, if you click on your token and you right click the number 10. Click on my token, yeah. And right click on the number 10 from the chat. Does it give you an option? Yeah, apply damage comes up. And I it, apply half damage too. I apply half damage as well. Yep. There you go. Oh, I, it's all, that's really good. Auto updated. Cool. I'll roll my attack now then. All right. I love. See, this is what I love about it. Is <clears throat> it, it just smooths out combat quite a bit. All right. My attack roll. 15 will hit. The damage. All right. I, I like that there's a dice rolling sound instead of just a... Yeah. All right. Again, it seems to take hold and then go straight through it. I'd have to look right. at it again, Hut. I think it was just honestly in settings for the the hit points. If you go to uh, resources, you can put attribute bar. I don't know. I, I'll have to take a peek at it. <clears throat> All right. So that was Drez. Bung! You 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 got you, you got something scary right in front of you, man. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna pull out the long sword. Okay. And try to attack it. Um. By casting my cantrip green flame blade. All right. So again, cast the spell by clicking on the icon. <clears throat> okay. And I think you have to attack first. That's the somatic part of the spell. All right. So roll the <clears throat> attack. So go to your inventory, uh, click on the icon of the weapon you're using. Okay. And then in the chat bar, hit attack. Uh, and versatile if you're using two-handed. No, I've got my shield on. All right. And these are public, right? Correct. This is amazing. 12 does hit. All right, so let me roll the damage for the weapon first and then the spell. Yep. So it would be long sword and then green flame blade. All right. All right, so that will do that. And then green flame blade. That's not right. No, that's not right. 
Uh, so that would be a, let's see. Oh, green flame blame is you attack another creature. Yeah. You, there's only one creature here. That's just for the additional damage. It does fire damage first and then it jumps. On a hit, well, I also get the target suffers also. normal effects because, and you can cause the green fire to leap from the target to a different target. Yeah, it can he doesn't have to. Yeah, the second creature takes a. You brandish, you make a melee attack against a creature, and I hit this tucker. It's just weapons normal effects. <laughs> I think that is a damage bump at later levels on the first target. I believe target. so. I think it's like fifth level. Yeah, I'm looking at yeah, like level six, I think. So like yeah, that. at fifth level, you get extra melee damage, not at, until fifth. So it'd just be normal damage and no effect. Yeah. So at fifth level, the spell you would get. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's right. Because this is the this is the new version. Yeah. This is the toxic version. Because the old green frame blade did fire damage on top and then it would jump as well that seems like a lot for a cantrip that mm -hmm. yeah. seems to have balanced it yeah. yep <clears throat> all right anything else for you bungren um not at this point no all right cernin you you're okay. you, you notice the is flying above you Banshee. Uh, <laughs> Just moves uh, right into melee. Ah, uh, you know, I Sun and ain't no baby back bitch. Uh, I mean, you've married Becky. Ah, oh, God, I'm very scared now. <laughs> uh, Sunan's just gonna mind sliver it. You draw the so. psychic energy to saving throw. All right. Also, I really like that I can drag and drop my spells into my hot button and just click one through zero and. Oh, and nice! Cast them. Yeah, that's really nice. Weapon attacks, pretty much anything. All right, so this is I click on this and I can just click saving throw normal. Fails. Get riggedy wrecked. Public, no extra damage, normal. Let's go. All right. Uh, so, so six damage and a minus one d4 on its next saving throw. All right. So this will take normal damage. All right. So that. Uh. So yeah, that's my action, my movement. Uh. And then I'm just gonna, gonna, look at Becky and and. Flip my hair majestically, be like, uh, see what I did? Becky, you're up. <laughs> um, angry that the bitch avoided me. And also seeing my husband, I am going to move up to the bitch and gonna attempt to strike with me. Alright, you have advantage because you have true flanking. Yay! Uh, attack, public roll, affrontage. That will indeed hit. All right. Smite! Kill its ass, Becky. Yeah, how do I smite in this? Just should be able to just click on the icon for smite. Yeah. Um... Nope. That's uh Hold on, Ed. Uh, let me just damage. So, so go ahead and click damage. damage. Yep. It's 
normal longsword damage. All right. Uh, yeah, when I click on the divine smite. Yep, it's I see. So you're gonna have to roll two. You it was a uh, first spell slot you're spending. Yeah, I don't have higher spell slots. It's just the first. All right. So just uh, do uh, what we have to figure some of this more stuff out later on. Yeah. <clears throat> but go ahead and roll two d eight. Uh, three d eight. It's undead. Oh yeah. Let's so, kick some ass. Let's slash off. 3d8. Oh, no. No, no, it's 2d8, and I take double damage because it's undead. Oh. Um, Features and traits. Uh, Divine Smite. When you uh, hit a creature, you expend one spell slot to deal radiant damage in addition to the weapon's damage. The extra yeah, 2d8. Uh, and plus 1d8 against undead oh. or fiends. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 2d8 would have been nice, but I want to damage sometimes play by the rules. Okay. That seems weird because radiant undead take extra damage from radiant already. They don't. Oh, they don't. Nope. I thought yeah, they it's did. Okay. So it's slash roll 3d8, right? Yep. All right. Oofta. So damn. No, damn it. That's uh, and damage because I accidentally made another attack roll. So it's five slashing from the sword plus seventeen radiant from the smite. Let's go, All wife. Right. Hold on one second. I I messed up something. Hold on. Don't mind that. Okay, click that. So this is the slashing, which I thought you already did, but and then I didn't. I mean, 40 points of slashing damage from a normal longsword, <clears throat> that would have been pretty All right. Very, your turn. And I'm also going to do a majestic hair flip with her long, <laughs> blonde hair. All right. So um, I don't know if anybody else is running into this, but I just realized, like, a chunk of my character sheet, I can't actually scroll down to see. So... Um, uh, you can extend your character sheet. Uh, no, I, I've tried everything that I can think of. I've popped it into a different window. Um, it's just cutting off, like, the bottom. No, it's not a ton. It's just a little bit. Hmm. Like, currently, my second-level spells, I have three of them. I can only see two. All right. So, okay. But, uh, uh, it, it, might be, it might be that your second-level spell is put somewhere else. Like No, um, no, no. no. Are you uh, looking at your spellbook tab? No, even do on you, like my attributes, do like you, charisma, I have it just cuts it off at the at, at the. Oh, number. Uh, you're playing a druid, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's it's still a problem. Um, yeah, yeah. They have problems with importing the spell lists on druids and clerics. Weird. Well, no, but it's it's on every screen. Like even my attributes screen, um, like the bottom of my. All right. Here's here's here's, here's what you're gonna do. Can, yeah. Windows Shift S and put it in episode or season four, episode one, and just copy and paste that, or just paste it. Sorry. No, shift. Windows Shift S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you uh, you basically drag that little window to create. Uh, Captured a picture of your. Yeah. God, this hot play is so useful. Yeah. So this is. Oh. Share that with you. Left. Oh. So this is what mine looks like for you. Yeah. Do you have that yeah. bottom uh, right little arrow thing? Uh, no. See, like, I can't even see that. Part. All right. So what spell are you trying to cast? I'm, I'm, I was just letting everybody know that I was just curious if anybody else is having an issue. Um, so I'm just curious if there's anything else. Because, yeah, I don't have the ability to resize that window. Uh, try reloading the browser. Oh, okay. Thank you, guest. All right. 
let's see. So what else do I got? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Alright. And then if you click on the encounter and just double click on your token, you should be able to center yourself. Another fun yeah. thing. Oh, I can just make something uh -oh. out of it even after I sent it. All right, so. All right, that seems to have done it. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Weird. Okay, anyway. Good so old. That, everybody. <sighs> Thank you, Triach. Right, um, I am currently paused still. Well, Once I rejoin. Let's see. Thank you. All right, I'm going to. <clears throat> I gotta make noises for those. I'm gonna do 20 feet of my movement to here. Okay. To get a visual. Um. Yeah, they're all tall individuals, aren't they? Yes, uh, they are. Um, All right, so that's 20. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to move back 10 feet up against this wall. Okay. Back 10 feet, and then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to hold... Uh, so, yeah, bonus action cast Shillelagh, and then hold an attack for if it makes its way my direction. Okay. Elmas, your turn. Uh, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Um, I bolt um, at this thing. Okay. Uh, as soon as I get sheet back up, uh, fire bolt. And then click Deck. Uh, normal. That will indeed hit. Cool. Um, damage. Is that a critical? No, it's a 19. You rolled. Oh, okay. Uh, normal. Damn. Um, that's all. Oof. All right. Banshee's turn. I'm glad I'm actually able to get this off. Banshee's Whale. Let's see. All creatures within 30 feet, so everyone, must make a DC 13 constitution saving throw. On a failure, all the cre those creatures drop to zero hit points. Uh. We're in danger. So don't forget, click on your token and then click on the saving DC saving throw DC 13 constitution. Oof, oof. I'll just go ahead Barely. and set myself to zero HP. Uh, so medical intuition. Good, uh, good. Attributes. Well, do we just click this thing on? Oh, by the way, because this is going to come up in a sec, I don't have to make death saving throws. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Alimus is at zero. Cernin is at zero. Draz is at zero. Everyone who saved takes seven psychic damage. Becky, I'm going to need you to fuck this banshee up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. That's... I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't hear you. About how nearly dead you are. <laughs> so, yeah, Draz, you should be at zero. Let's see. Uh, 
All creatures must on a failure they're dropped to zero. So they're stabilized. There's no death saving throws, they're just dropped to zero hit points. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter anyways. Yeah. Just unconscious. Yep. Yeah. That whale is rough. Who else got hit by that? Um, how loud is that whale, Tonus? Fucking hell. Uh, oh, I just thought I'd say that. So the Elimus is at zero as well. And Elimus falls to the ground. Uh-oh. Elimus. Oh. You were flying? Because you, you were flying. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, uh, it's 10 feet off. No, but the boots are independent of my knee. So yeah, I'm just watching the ankle snap as he just hangs there. <laughs> Remember, you're not it's heavy fine. enough. Alright. Uh, Alright, so just It's like me. children. Kids fall down all the time, don't get hurt. Adults fall down, you've got a sprained wrist or something. <laughs> as long as you don't acknowledge that they're right, So that's fine. fine. Draz! You're at zero, nothing can happen, you're just unconscious. Bungren, <clears throat> as you finally like, like let, uh, let go of your ears because this whale happened, you noticed a few of your uh, friends are unconscious. All right. Uh, so I guess I'm going to do Witch Bolt instead at this point. All right. This, is a, th this is a ranged spell, uh, correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, so you will have disadvantage? Because you are in melee. Okay. Wow, that <laughs> disadvantage is great. It was either a crit or not crit. <laughs> That'll hit. <laughs> Give me damage. All right. Wow. All right, so I'm rolling on critical hit for the damage? Uh, no, because it was a disadvantage. Okay. It was not a crit. All right. I don't think it mattered. It didn't matter. All right. The Banshee just goes up into wisps of smoke. 1100. Is that XP 1100? Give me, no, give me one second. Six, I assume. Yeah, yeah, give me one second. Um, XP. all right, Banshee is talking. No, you're dead. <laughs> all right, so everyone gets a hundred and it's whisper in the void. Uh, everyone gets a hundred and eighty three experience added to the character sheet, even if you are unconscious. Oh, yeah. And you have three unconscious people, one floating in the air. <clears throat> All right. First, we're going to touch my husband appropriately and just give him one HP from lay on hands. Woohoo! Just so he's awake. And then I'm going to do the same to the other unconscious people. Just so they are awake. Uh, I guess I, yeah. I should oh, divvy out some of my healing, too. I would remind everyone's got one good berry each as well. So all you have to do is search their bodies, give them the good berry, they, they wake up. No, I already said I 
was putting one oh. HP from lay on hands on everybody. Just for like next time, we've still got a good berry each as well to get ourselves. Yeah, 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 but I am not about to shove things down unconscious people's throat. <laughs> uh, so... I do not know what you do in your free time, heathen. <clears throat> All right. For for those of the Holy Sanctum, that is one undead. One. Yeah. Let's go. How many more do we need again? Four more. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let's fight us for um, more banshees. So how about it's oh time Oh, my God, for, I should have used um... Favored by the Gods. I'm so stupid. I could have lived there. Could have, would have, but you didn't. All right, so yeah, somebody it's... else is talking? Possibly it's time for a short rest. Well, um, how many how many of us dropped and are now just up with three. one? Three. Three. Three of us. <clears throat> um, because I can, I can blow a second level spell, um, and put a healing spirit out, um, just to cut down on the number of hit dice everybody has to roll, um. Because I can do, let's see here. I can get five, five times that it heals a D six. That could be good. I I think I'll give. A, I'll let everyone else have the healing from the healing spirit. I think I'm just gonna. Well, I can only heal one individual twice with it at a time. Ah, oh, I see. Well, no, wait. Let me see if I, if I read that right. Got changed slightly in Oh, never mind. One. Yeah, no, no. I can, yeah, I can heal the number of times equal to one plus my spell mod. So that's five times. And then it just disappears. So I can heal anybody or all of you a few times. I could also twin spell something. Okay. 25 good berries besides the five I gave you guys, so I could use those to get myself up to 25. I feel like we should save those it. for like down people. Yeah, I'll hang on to those then. Is it safe to eat that many good berries? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's the other uh, long term effects of extended good berry consumption has not been proven. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Brought to you by the good berry lobby. <laughs> with, with, with that much fruit in your system, you can just add to the brown murkiness behind us. Well, Again, it's oil, oil, not shit. That's another section of Undermountain. <laughs> <laughs> and why don't we start with the resources that are free to abuse, which would be the dead die? Um, That's true. So, are we taking the short rest? <clears throat> All right, we're we'll back to the dirty water. This is actually a pretty good place. I I trust the dirty water. Me and it have a, a love hate relationship. I love it. It tried to drown me. I'll sprinkle my cow to drown you in a loving way. Um, ah shit. I guess I'll sprinkle, sprinkle my cow drops like here, maybe just in front of where we're resting. Hut. No. 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 They do not. Okay, so are we taking that short rest? I yeah, I guess yeah. If, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. How long are we taking? Uh, short rest is one hour. Yeah. All right. Um, if anybody is inclined and would join me in the faith that I have, I can use this hour to convert you, and you get another D four. What this called a wisdom save? Oh wait, I just realized I. Oh can... well, any save for the next twenty. So why am I a surname? I can. What can I do? What was I thinking? Yeah, I can use some some of my warlock spell slots because I regained those on a short rest. Oh yeah, you could heal with those and then rest. Yeah, that's a good shout. No, Let me not... just. It doesn't tell me how many are warlock spell slots. You get them all back, I believe, as a warlock. Yeah. Oh okay. But by I the have way, multi class in the warlock. Cool. Okay, um... so then now I might just spam some healing. Yeah, I can, while the others do short rest, I can use dedication and give one of you another d4 and saving for us for 25 hours. Yeah, so... 
I'm just gonna I, I feel myself. Your warlock spells are only gonna be level one because you're level one warlock. Yeah, yeah. I'm just using level one spells anyways. <clears throat> so I'll cast When do I get my healing light back? Long vest. Okay, so I'll just use my, my first level spells. I'll go I'll start with who is the one who yeah. conscious Oh, so you guys. you only have one level one warlock spell. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Okay. Uh, so I will cure wounds on Draz, and then take, and then we'll take the short vest. Sure. And healing, normal, seven healing, and then we'll short vest. Yeah, if nobody wants to be converted to my faith, then oh, please, oh, please, 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 tell me more about this. <laughs> If, if, we're, if we're already part of your faith, can we just get the free buff anyway? No, unfortunately. I... You get a free debuff thanks to Becky's voice, but... <laughs> okay. Alright, then I'm also just taking normal short rest. Where are my head dice? Uh, just click short rest and it'll pop up. Where, Where do we click short rest? If like you look dice. at hit dice, you see S rest, L rest. Ah, yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Um, uh, uh, normal. 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 Uh, that was some pretty crappy healing. Um, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm decent. Oh, it automatically adds the HP. Yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> okay. Let me test out well, my keys. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Becky on one heal healed all more than almost as much as I healed on four. <laughs> that is the power of my faith! <clears throat> heathen! I'm not a heathen, I'm part of your religion. Well, then you're just not praying enough. <laughs> <laughs> you're an apostate. I'm going to spend the rest of my short rest praying just out of spite. <laughs> my character is just going to be... the bread and did other things. My character is just going to be practicing his combat My white is blood, I... uh, whatever. Okay, combat maneuvers. Yep. All right. Does anything come kill us on this short vest, Tynus? No, you are not dead yet, unfortunately. Ah, that stinks. Um, can we use shape water to remove the oil from the oily water in order to get a vial of oil? Um, <clears throat> see, how much how much uh, volume does shape water do again? Uh, five foot cube. Five foot cube. So <clears throat> you could get like, <clears throat> sorry. You can get a little bit uh, of oil from the beginning, but it, I mean, there's a lot of water down here. Yeah, someone sprayed like 30 gallons into there. Well, not only that, like w when you shape it, it, it still does not seem to go down. As in, there might be um, like holes at the bottom of this water filling it up, the volume back up. Oh. Uh, okay. Anyone good at swimming? Uh, maybe uh, not. Alamus can fly. I can try swimming again if you guys want. You, the whole Becky the strategy. You can get all the way around the corner with the the tied off rope. Oh yeah, the tied off rope. Uh, I guess me and Alamus can go again. I I mean I also can make you like an ice disc to float, and you can pull yourself along so you're not actually swimming. <clears throat> I'm going to pull him off to the side the and say, You think Becky's going to like that? I'm going to work like a bitch. I can't do that I request one of those ice floats here so I can traverse the water. <laughs> I'm going to make it I'm going to make it kind of in the shape of a swan for Becky. You can have like three of those, right? Why uh, I can help, you? I think two. <clears throat> uh, two. 
Okay. Um, so just this before the rest, they us? turn off the turn off the boots. Oh, by the way, Tonus, you can uh. I know you placed like an icon for the bell trap. You can get rid of that. The ice would have melted by now. I just remembered that. I'm sorry. Say that again. The the bell trap I put it would be gone by now. It's been an hour. Okay. Yeah. Like, don't worry about it. It's. Oh, I just remembered something. So remember when the halfling was just unconscious, floating in the air. Yeah. Continuously still holding onto a sword. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. Uh, okay, so we have there's six of us. You can make two ice floaties. Does that include one for yourself? Uh, no, I can only make two at a time, just uh, in general. They'll, that that lasts for an hour. So okay. two at a time, and one goes back, and we just do one at a time. Thing. What? Ah, we could just give you guys a rope and you could drag oh, us. Oh, no! Hang on! Idea has struck! Take a pitten, attach a rope to the ice floaty, have it in there! And then, once we have traversed the other side, you just pull back the floaty. Ah! Or, or as soon as you get there, it's a cantrip. I just create a new floaty. I can, just, I can, only, sustain, <laughs> I can only sustain two of them at a time. <laughs> What's the weight requirement or weight limit for those things? Um, that's a great. It's a five question. foot slab of ice, like a five foot yeah. cube of ice, so probably a lot. Like, how much would that weigh? Some math, some sort of math. Well, that's math. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't make it a five foot cube. I would make you know that it fits within a five foot cube. Yeah. So. It's still gonna be heavy as as all. Hell. So hang so on. Who's po who's casting the floaty? Uh, I have shape water. I think somebody else does too, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I name, please. <laughs> oh yeah. So we can make four. Alimus can fly. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the, one of the casters aside. Cast the fucking floaty already. Okay. Two people go. All right. I'm two gonna little <clears throat> rope while we're, we're taking the floaties. Two little swan boats appear. All right, right where it starts. Okay. Okay, I think that's Becky and whoever else wants to go. I guess I can go with my wife if you would like. Oh, Thomas, I would have retrieved my javelin uh, doing the short rest. Okay. Uh, so Becky, would you like to accompany me on the swans? I just pet my husband on the head and then go. Okay, let us go. So, I guess I just take out my quarter staff and, and row. Okay. As as they begin to float down, I just kind of turn back to the other three and go, you know, if I create another one, one of them falls in the water. <laughs> la -dee da -dee da Lovely time with my wife. I just kind of look at my armor and just kind of shrug. My armor, by the way, is spotless clean. <laughs> Mine isn't, and I don't care. Oh, that okay. reminds me. As soon as we are over, I'm just going to look at my husband and uh, say, Sarden! Yes, my lady? Jester to my dirty armor. Prestigitate me! Yes, right. my lady. So it looks. It, it sounds like they're they're on the other side, clear. Um, then I'll create two additional. <laughs> All right. Elimus just flies over. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> okay, so um, since I what need... Is, yeah. does, does somebody else have shape water that's going to create the third one to go, or no? Oh, oops. I uh, already flew over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't have that ability. Alright, so you guys want to for the others and then go alone. Yeah, so. Or abandon us all. Yeah, right? <laughs> Your choice. Hey guys, no, what's I'll... the plan if we have to go back this way in a hurry? Uh. I make a nice boat and I run away. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. 
All right, so whoever's on the ice floaty, head on over. I believe it would be the two that don't have shape water. Yeah. Yep. So who doesn't have shape water? Draz and then Dante. Yeah, Draz and Dante. Wait, who's really quiet all of a sudden? That would probably be me. Is it me? Wait, no, it's not me. All right, we're good. All right, so the the other two head on over. So that's everyone. So everyone should be heading on over. Yeah. Tack. I they, I mean, yeah. I'm still showing Bungren over here, but who's Bungren? That would be me. Yep, just he start heading on over. All right, and then yeah, if they're if they're across, then I'll uh, pick my way. Okay. I was waiting for Ch Chat to just like put an encounter as soon as <laughs> it was just one of us. <laughs> all right, so you all make it over. the the um, The ice floaties are gone. How thick was that oil on top of the water? Uh, it, I mean, it was a, it wasn't super thick. Uh, probably an inch or two. But it's the oil seems diluted and not like a, like a globs of it. Okay. Uh, so I guess following the map to the undead, we would go straight and then left. Uh, so no I guess. No one cares if this Parker. Stick man. Oh, up Stick man reporting for duty. Um, uh, could you proceed forward? Uh, there should be a, a left here. Oh, it's another secret door. I uh, mean, appears to be a secret. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So who's searching? I guess I'll cast. Who has? Who's good at investigating? Uh, let me check. I am not. I've got oh, a plus two. Go to the bathroom. I've no, I have a plus two. Yeah. So I guess I uh, can give actually, guidance. Actually, I have advantage. I have advantage on investigation checks. Oh. Uh. So who's that? Uh. Very dark. Uh. I'll give you guidance if you want to start investigating this wall. Okay. Um. So just a one d four. Yeah. Where's my hotkey for guidance? There can we you go. stack guidance. Uh, no. No. I was just saying, because I could give it to myself, too. Because mo most spells do not stack. Yeah. Maybe okay. Guidance and Blast, I don't know. I guess on that note, I'm going to Guidance myself. Just for future ability. Oh, and, yeah. All right. And uh, you did not add the Guidance yet. So uh, yeah. roll. Uh, here, I'll just do it right here. Yeah, roll 1d4. And it's typing out roll, correct? Yep. Yeah. Oh, um... Slash before it. Yeah, Backslash. Yeah. You got three. Uh, so you, oh. ju you just managed to find the, um, <clears throat> the seam of the, uh, the wall. And the moment you put pressure on, it, sli it pushes in. And slides to the left. Okay. Before we go inside, I say we wait for the person that went to the bathroom. All right. And then one second, I gotta give me. Let's see. Yada yada yada. I gotta find. Who am I looking for? I am looking for. I gotta find my maps. Do we want to just have a five-minute break right now? Yeah, to, right now would be a good uh, bio break. Okay. So everyone, uh, when you are back, the, the way I do it is when you are back, just type in an X when you are back. Okay. Okay. All right, I will be right back. Everyone will be right back. Do, 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 do.
And now we wait. All right, all right, all right. We... Welcome back. We are here. So we are waiting on one person. On one. Everyone is back. Wait, no. No, we're still waiting on one person. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, we have five players back. But I remember a discussion in the Indeed channel where people said, like, no, you can totally stack haste. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> stack it until your heart explodes yeah they, oh. they wanted to just make a you know like broken speed build whoever went to the bathroom when we were finding the door we, we found we found the secret door yeah i heard it wireless headset uh let's see i vote we send him the pole man first channel points are on it might be a problem yeah. I uh, what's up? Think I? <clears throat> yeah, I just switched to the stream and the, I have a little box here, so I'm getting them. Yeah, everyone's getting channel points. I don't know. Uh, you might need to reload. Uh, the IT person to me is like, "Have you tried turning it off and on again? Because it's worked once in this chat so far." Okay. My player just texted me who's watching. If I will have a voice for tomorrow's D and D game, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Becky's voice is actually not too straining. It's more like the like raspy, deeper voices that really fuck up your vocal cords. Yeah. Also, I'm drinking like five them. liters already, so. You should improve your, improve your improve your super high pitched voice by giving yourself a posture. Right. You could uh, huff some helium. Oh no! Like every time before I speak as Becky, I just punch myself in the balls. <laughs> God. All right. So everyone has X'd up. We are now back. All right. That being said, what I'm going to do, since uh, I have a feeling we're going in here, I'm going to go ahead and copy everyone. Uh, we uh, are... new map. Chunk time, new chunk. Yeah, preload. Preloading. I will... Give you the alert, but I can't see a map. <laughs> you can what? Uh, I will tell you when I can see. It may take a bit. All right, I have I activated the map. Yeah, I remember that session where we switched between like three different chunks in five minutes. I, I am very afraid of that because this stream or Foundry, since it is hosted on my machine, uh, does not like switching between chunks very often. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I just want to triple check how far the walls go. We're good. All right. I'll just put out there that I've voted in. I don't know if everyone else has. I still see two people over at the entry well, so. <clears throat> still for me. I'm about. It says 100%, so hopefully soon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm also at gray right now. So <clears throat> that is the that is the only problem with Foundry is um, loading the maps. But then again, Roll Twenty would probably even have a harder time due to. I mean, wh what was the size of this map? 1.8 gigabytes for the map. You'd probably have to break it up into like different sheets, wouldn't you, for all 20? Yeah, like yeah. Playable. All right, so everyone is transferred over. Uh, we are at... Okay. Uh, I'm still at gray. Now I can see. Give me one second. Yada, yada, yada. All 
Okay, we are golden. I just want to make sure All everyone's right. here. Stickman! Stickman reporting for duty. <laughs> Proceed forward! I tippy tappy the floor with my stick as I move forwards. Okay. Oh, by oh, by the way, guy from guy. right around here, Drez, you begin to smell something rotting. Oh no. <laughs> I'm in danger again. <laughs> Good, good, good. Undead. You might not be Wait, no one but undead, and thus they are marked on the map. Um, Proceed! What, what's that, like, statue-looking thing I can just about see in the corner? Uh, it looks like a dwarven statue. Okay. Oh, we have some dwarvish people. We have a tiny person. They're not <clears throat> dwarves. Ah, same deal. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we are all elves, so... Everything's right. a dwarf when you're this tall. I took a semester, ah, but I took a semester of Dwarven language at college. Oh. Guess what? Well, thank you for the bits. Person. Draz, as soon as you step there, oh, <clears throat> no. the statue's oh. mouth begins to move, and it says, Disturb not the rest of those who served Bereg Whitehelm, or the exes of the dwarves will seek you out and fall upon you. And, look at the ceiling. And then uh, the mouth stops to move, stops moving on the uh, statue. I guess educated guess that someone cast magic mouth on there. Well, they built this tomb, I guess. <laughs> Ten bits. Oh, All right. What do I see now? What do my elven eyes see? Uh, it, it, you, you see stairs going down, and then um, it seems to go off to the left a little bit. Uh, hmm. can, I, can I inspect this statue? Is there anything else? Yeah, go ahead and give me an investigation. I'm also going to tippy tap over here on my steel tipped high heels. Tynus, I'm going to remove my one of my patches for my verb of useful items just to get another four healing potions. Okay. Uh, the Dwarven statue depicts a stern faced bearded dwarf in plate armor, axe raised as if to bar passage. Uh, nothing. Um, it is pretty battered. Uh, it looks like it was uh, hit a few times. Has anyone got decent history? I'm just kind of an overall average smoke dude, so no. Fair. I was wondering if someone could give us a, a nice cultural <laughs> rundown of the cultural relevance of these statues in Dwarven culture. But... I have a plus two. I, can, I can take a look. I can give guidance as well. I was just more worried the statue might come to life or something. <laughs> I'll, go uh, ahead I'll just keep history back. even though I have a zero. Alright. You got what I said, right? What? That I was going to do a history check on it. Okay. Alright, um... No... On on the statue or the name Bereg? Um, the name Bereg. Bereg, I mean, nothing really jumps out at you in the history. I mean, you're elven. You you don't have much uh, dwarven history uh, in your your knowledge base, so nothing really sticks out. Which one of us was that? Directed to who, whoever did the history uh, of the name Bereg. Because it's either history for Bereg or you're looking at the statue and trying to get more information on that. And that's for both of you. Oh, my first role would be for the name. Can okay. I do the second one for the statue? Yep. Okay. Uh, 
I, I mean, it's it's carved from one piece of stone. Really nice stonework, but again, not like you can't uh, detail out who made it or who it was made for. Other than more than likely for Bereg. That was just a test, by the way, Toig. Okay. Does anyone uh, want to uh, investigate the statue to see if there's anything hidden? Um, nope. Nope. We I, would, nope. I would like to continue Leon's to the dead. undead. We yes. Draz has already looked it over. Okay. And he didn't find anything. Me and Becky are going to the undead. All right. Going by the map, I guess the undead will come from our right hand side, like looking at the map. I believe they're down here. Yeah, there's like a, there should be like an opening, and then yeah. yeah. Cernan, please proceed to the back of the line. You are quite squishy. <sighs> yes, my dear. <laughs> Oh, oh, and I on that, I want everyone. Yay! They are dead. The me, hold on, hold on. Everyone, stop! Everyone, stop moving. <laughs> initiative. Everyone, go ahead and roll me initiative. Looks like so it's not um remember to click on your token first and then or if you go to the combat tracker and just hit the die on the combat tracker. Uh <laughs> I'm clicking the initiative of the nine star. Again, go to the combat tracker, which is the fist symbol on the top, and then there's a list. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right. Why? The, the very dark around there. All right. Very dark. You are first. No you have no idea what's going on. Uh, yeah. That's that's pretty normal. Um, using some movement. Come down. Still can't see anything. Excuse me, coming uh, through. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so <laughs> let's see here. So it's 10 feet. All right, everyone, hold 15. on. Give me one second. I just looked in chat. You rolled something. Hmm? What? I just looked in chat. He rolled something. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It won't hurt for too long. All right. <clears throat> and we're back. Sorry about that. You just I love the pausability because people start moving and I have to do a roll. I can just hit the pause button and stop that. All right, so you've moved anything else from you, Very. So that's that's 15. With I have 30 feet of movement. Would I be able to get 
Yep, it's just a uh, double movement through. Yep, yep, you're good. Perfect. You're, and you see a bunch uh, of creatures. Yeah. Drooling um, and staring at you like you're a piece of fresh meat. Okay, so i got to measure something here. Um, I'm going to throw second level spike growth. Okay. Um, it should prompt you for everything when you cast a spell. Okay. So it's a 20 foot radius. Yep. So go ahead and cast a spell. Yep. Um, and now click place measured template. Yeah. So I'm going to place it centered there. Okay. So, spike growth, yada yada yada, transformation, da, 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 hard spikes and thrones, becomes difficult terrain, move into or within the area. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Anything else from you? <clears throat> um, that also counts towards us, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. It does. Um, and then, so that was action. Um, bonus action, I am going to wild shape into my starry form. Okay. Um, the archer. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out where that attack is hidden. Is it in there? Let's see, starry form, you retain your statistics, your body becomes luminous, yada yada yada... <clears throat> While you assume, whenever you, you choose the constellations, Archer. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is it just like a damage and heal button on the actual study form spell? No, oh, it, it should be it should be a ranged spell attack. But it's not on here, so we're just gonna look at right. very dark. Uh, yeah. So yours basically should be. Uh, just go. I, it should honestly just be ranged spell attack. So go ahead and give me a dexterity check. Just click on the word dexterity. That should work. Okay. Plus two, so you should be plus two, plus two, so it'd be 12. And which one were you attacking? Mouse over it. Well, I, well no, it's a ranged spell attack. Again, a ranged spell attack is a, on one creature. Right. So mouse over the creature you you were attacking. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. This one? Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's a 12. That will indeed hit. Okay. And then, <clears throat> since there's not a damage on it, you want me to just uh, roll? Uh, damage is oh, on, wait, wait, yeah. Wait. Um, I just found in my inventory as if a it, weapon. Yep, uh, if you go to the, your, there we go. If you go ahead and hit damage on that, then there should be just a damage button now on the chat. Yep, yep. All right, that will indeed hurt. All right, so that's a movement action, bonus action. So yeah, uh, with a with a free action, um, just kind of turn back and yell that. Careful, the floor is a little pokey. All righty, Becky, your turn. Yay! Um. All right. As my bonus action, I will cast Shield of Faith upon me. Okay. So that's plus two to my AC. Move up here. Do I notice the pokey ground? Yes, you do. 
All right, then I will continue to stand there, and with my action, I will use my channel divinity. Wait, wait, wait. The transformation of Grama's camouflage to look natural. No, it, 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 you would see it, yeah. Because mm -hmm. these are spikes. Okay, well, I'm told. Yep. But, yeah, but as a free action, I told everybody to. Yep. Yep. And then for my action, I will use channel divinity and cast sacred weapon on my sword. Okay. So for the next minute, it's a magical plus two weapon. It counts as magical. It's what it says. Okay. And it emits bright light for 20 feet and dim light for another 20 feet. All right. I'll give you that. All right. That's, uh... And that's my turn. <clears throat> Draz! You're up. Cool. All right, I'm going to move so I can see the room better. Cool, move here. Um, I'm going to use... I'm just going to check what it's called. It's the... Um... Fuck. It's the ranger feature that's not Hunter's Mark, like the the class ability one. I'm just trying to find it on the sheet. Oh, the new Tasha's one? Yeah. That'd be my features. Oh, fuck it. I just cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. That's the... That's better anyway. And mouse over which one you're, you're going to hit. This guy? All right. Yeah, that's the... Looks like the ghast from the token. All right. Cool. And then I'll take a longbow shot at him. That would indeed hit. Cool. I'll roll the damage. Yep. Uh, extra, extra d6 from the longbow, right? So let's do plus 1d6. Okay. Which is nice because you can add, actually add that to your... Yeah, it's nice to add it to the equation. Kalugan, are you rubbing your, your mic against your balls or something? Because... No, nah, there's like a loose connection or something. So All if right. I like move back in my chair, it like does that. So All right. I'm adjusting myself to do a Do not position. judge my husband's ballsiness. All right, I've rolled the damage. All right, thank you. All right, I got to okay, actually... Okay. Hold on one second. For some nice. reason. Why is he not... Oh, yeah, we killed it. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it came back. Damn it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the main reason is it had... For some reason, the token w w didn't have any stats on it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, really? All right. All right. So now I can do this. Click this. And just click this. I love. I absolutely love that. All right. So that was. Cool. I'll use the rest of my movement to just move back around the corner. All right. Yeah. Cool, that's my turn. Ooh, All right. Done. So I got to look at spike growth because it moves forward and takes 2d4 piercing damage. So that'll just be, I'm going to go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, go ahead and roll me 2d4, please. <clears throat> All right, took five. I love that I can just take that as damage. Sweet. It moves forward and takes a swing at you. Yeah, a swing. Missing horribly. Oh, they actually can't hit me. Why I have an AC of 25 currently. Oh, they can crit, but that's about it. I'm immune to crits. 
You're, uh, immu- you're, you're immune to the critical extras. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's just normal damage. Yep. All right. Uh, roll me 2d4 extra damage. Wait, hold on. Why am I doing this? That guy didn't move forward. The, I <clears throat> Normally, all my monsters move together, but with this new system, it works out really well. I love it. All right. So that's that. I wish I could watch this stream so I could see what you're doing, because I can learn. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, there's a new thing in the combat tracker team. <laughs> Four, oh, it's five, a fiend. Six, are fiends seven, on our list? Eight, uh, I don't know. I think it's just undead and cultists. Um, there's uh, a hellhound as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hellhound, that's why. I saw it. Uh, um, uh, I love that my brandy meeting went like, oh, is this on our list too? Or do we just hey, have to, just undead? Uh, guys, okay. guys, that's Hoken next to Elmus. Oh, boy. Oh, we I can Oh, we can oh, I can't see it. Oh, by the way, Becky, if we kill these four monsters, that's our goal finished. Yeah, All right. Right. So yeah, you hear like literally sounds like full on running after a sniffing in the air, and then oh no, you feel a bite on the ass. Is this the first, oh god, the crit yes. deck? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. For those that are new here, critical <laughs> hits and critical fumbles do separate things. And they add a little bit more flavor and story to the game. No hype, no hype puncture, no hype puncture. Hey, at least the decapitation is fixed. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, is he flying? Is uh, he actually he's... in the reach? It's a medium creature. It can jump up and bite. Uh, it's only ten. Lazy. It's only ten feet high, and I, I haven't heard him. Yeah. Maybe the dog is lazy. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So this will be. So this is the encounter that he rolled for. Damage. I wonder if this was caused by Becky screaming or chat. Yes. <laughs> Porque no los dos. I don't have anything that disrupts that design. Nope. <clears throat> Let's see. Pinhole. So hold on. I gotta do crit damage. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh... So that's <clears throat> the crit damage. Oh, does he take, does he take the 8 like and the 27? No, he just takes the 27 since it says double damage. Okay. <clears throat> he's... Right. Um, he's just dead then. I think. If it... like, complete dead. Points? Oh, no, whoa, whoa. Minus 13. He's at 14. Oh, no, you're fine. Oh, you it's take, your max HP. Less... Oh, it's it's max HP? Yeah. It's if you yeah, take, if you take uh, more yeah. than your max HP, I believe. Yeah. So... Oh, my max HP is 23. So no, no, almost. Almost it. So if, oh, if you yeah. were unconscious at zero and it did this damage, then you would have you would be dead outright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you were at full HP, <clears throat> you have to do forty-four damage to kill you instantly. Hmm. So you are just at uh, zero and dying. Yep. Hey, just it's almost my turn, Alimus. I will happens. save you. All right, so that'll put you at zero. All right, and you you hear yeah you that's that the ghost moves between so roll me four d four. Oof, God, that's brutal. All right, <laughs> I don't even think we'll be the one killing these undead. I think it'll just be the plants. As long as they don't move past me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, so this ghost runs up to Becky. Hello. Sensing the holy aura of you. And... 
And? And it got it its phone for an alert. Hey, what's this? Sorry. Nope. Don't worry about that. Right now. Uh, that's for when my turn starts. Yep. I am a DM as well, Tardis. I already knew this was coming. Missing horribly. That's the ghost. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty. Oh, Tokyo! Look at the There's Tokyo. more hellhounds. Cernan. Okay, uh, Cernan will use his healing light. Uh, which where? Here, healing light. Usability. Uh, uh, 12 healing to Alimus cool. as my bonus action. As my movement, I'm going to move down to Becky, help my wife. <laughs> uh, and then as an action, uh, I am going to cast a cantrip. Okay. Firebolt on the... Which one is that? That's the ghast, I believe. Yeah, yeah the ghast. Mouse over it really quick. Uh, this one. All right. You will be at disadvantage because you're using a ranged spell yeah. in... Okay. Wait, actually, Mind Silver would be better for Becky, I feel like. Just in case she has it. So I'll Mind Silver it. Okay. Why, so, thank yeah. you! Just in case you make it, need a saving throw. So, DC 13. Hang on, are those both spells? Or is one of them a cantrip? One's a cantrip. Oh, yeah, I just saw. And Healing Light yeah. isn't even a spell. Alright, so... Okay. Mind Sliver. Click on that. We're good. Gosh darn you. It was and a nice spot, darling. I will end my turn next to my wife. And, oh god, there was three hellhounds! And we'll see this creature prone on the ground and have advantage on this attack. I have a feeling that our halfling is not long for this world. Yeah, well, if, it, I, if I get a turn, I can web everybody, but they're always I shan't let Seven, halfling Does die. a 17 hit? Yep. All right. It's AC 16. 13 damage. And he's dead again. <laughs> awake, down, awake, down. I shan't let him die. All right. I mean, I can heal if I have a turn. <clears throat> the other issue is getting away from him. Uh, Bungren, your turn. Okay. So, Thank you very dark for cutting off our one route of escape. <laughs> I am going to look at this one and cast Firebolt at it. Alrighty. I really am trying very hard not to meta the monster knowledge that yep. I have. <laughs> Alright, roll the attack. Alrighty. Ah, uh, you miss. I feel like we know stuff about undead, but I don't think we're up to date on fiends, Becky. Okay. Oh, you know, that, processed undead. I'll just move right here. I've already been through the jurisdictional process of going to hell. And you know what they say, not all dogs go to heaven. And that will be... That will be my the goddamn dogs. Alright. That's your turn. Oh, I miss... Death saving throw, please. Yeah. Uh, so and that one's right. whispered. Yes. Uh, sorry, I saw it here somewhere. No, I do not see it. Is there a... Where do I go to? That is a good question. 
Uh, death save. Oh, oh there we go. go there save. we go. There is, uh, right under your sorcery points is the word death saves. Click on the word under death attributes. saves. Oh, it's under attributes. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, bonus public role. Uh, oh. private. Yep. All right. Oh, sweet. It even tracks it. I love that. Cool. All right. One, two, three. Roll me sixty-four. Me? Oh God. I like this spell. And it hits uh, or attacks Becky. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Missing horribly. I just look over my shield. May I ask you to try one, to achieve? <laughs> other one doesn't do anything because it can't move forward. Very. Very. I need a DC 10 constitution saving throw. All right. You are fine. And you do not have to roll again ever. We'll just call it that. Yep. Viri, what are you doing? All right. Um, I'm going to go see how it will let me do this. I'm going to go shillelagh. All right. Um, and I'm going to be attacking the one directly next to me. Okay. So you should just uh, roll your attack on the item you have. So the quarter staff or whatever you're using. Uh, well, yeah, because it modifies that. So it should. I'm, I'm curious if using the attack in the, the thing will do it. Come on, yada, yada, yada. It's just weapon damage. So just roll the attack in uh, from your quarter staff. No, uh, but it changes those modifiers. For duration, you can use your spellcasting ability instead of strength for an attack. So whatever's stronger for you, yeah. Go ahead and roll. Yeah. 15 does hit. Okay. Let's see. Becomes magical. Oh, why is it doing that? Apply damage. All right. It is still up. Okay. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that's bonus action and action. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm kind of pinned in the corner here. Alrighty. So, starry form is still up. I just can't use it. Becky, your turn. All right. Um, I will... Go for the one right in front of me here, where my cursor is hovering over. Okay. And I shall strike at it with my sacred long sword. Oh, hold on. Do me what, one favor. Yes. DC t uh, ten Constitution saving throw. That is correct. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, that's click, uh, just click on your token and click on that. Yep, yeah, yeah. and then whispered. Yep. So you are poisoned. This is fine, not like not worse than my wedding cake. All right, so <laughs> you're you're at disadvantage now on your attack. Fine. 
My vengeance burns a disadvantage away, but not really. So that is attack with disadvantage plus two. Right, that will miss. <clears throat> Damn you, long sword! Anything else from you, Becky? I don't think so. Thank you very much for asking, sir. Draz, your turn. Cool, I'm up. Okay, I'll shoot the ghast again. That's one of my hunter's marks on still. Okay. One sec. My inventory is being weird. I wrote a two and a nine, seriously. <laughs> Attack, can you mute yourself? I can't Thank you. the weapon section in my inventory. What? It's uh, staying tabbed down. Oh, okay, I've got it up. Don't know why it wasn't open. That will indeed hit. Nice. Oh, shame it wasn't a natural, though. That's the damage roll. All right, it falls over dead. Cool. Uh, can I use my bonus action to move my hunter's mark to the um, hound over there? All right, this one. Yeah, that one I've um, clicked on. All right. Thanks. That's Draz. Cool. Becky, getting swung at. Actually, curious one second. Poison. Poisoned means. Alright. Missing horribly. Hellhound one. Senses no danger here. Charges forth. Breathing fire. Draz and Dungren, DC 12 dexterity saving throw, please. All right. <clears throat> so half as much damage from this. So go ahead and click, right click the 19 damage and then uh, half the damage. All right. Ghost is dead. Hellhound number two. Oh boy. Uh, Draz and Dung, DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Alright. For a total of 21 damage, half if you made it. Dung, are you unconscious? Yeah, that puts me at negative one. Okay, so that would be at zero. Oh, uh, boy. Unconscious. All I right. can deal with this. I can deal with this. 
and delete that and delete that. So that's Hellhound number two. Certain you have two unconscious folk. Uh, one, two. Uh, okay, so first one, I'm going to use my last healing light on the halfling. Hey, you might want to hold your action, but um, I also can't walk because I'm unconscious. And then cure wounds on the on Bungvin. Okay. The spell book. Cure wounds. First level. Cast. For six healing, and then I'll use the rest of my movement to move back down to Becky. All right. So, Elmis got 11, and Bungren got 6. All right, so that's Cernan. Hellhound sees that Elmis is moving again. That's why I said wait. <laughs> and has advantage Just on this attack. Just let me Missing well, horribly. Well, attacks you... It's Whoa, not breathing I... fire on us. <laughs> Missing horribly. Bungren, your turn. All right, well, since I was on the ground, I'm just going to raise my hand up and cast Witch Bolt on the one right in front of me. All right, you'll be at disadvantage because you're in melee. Uh, Oh, God. Okay. All right. So that is the first critical miss. Let's find out what happens on magic. Blast off. You are thrown. How many feet back? Ignore this. Twenty feet. One. Ow! Smashing into Bungren, or to Cernan. Uh, Cernan and Bungren, you take five damage. All right. Anything else? Uh, can I stand up? You uh, you can spend half your yeah you spend your half your movement to stand up. All right, then that's what I'll do. All right. Good news is you're no longer in melee. Correct. <laughs> One hit point. I feel very safe right now. All right, so that's that. Uh, Elmis. Okay. Um. Well, uh, sorry, one second, just reading this sort of spell. Um, this thing's yes. just drooling right in front of you. <laughs> Looks yeah, like it, it's it's staring at yeah. it's staring at your throat <laughs> with eager eyes. <laughs> I've already got my throat torn open twice already. Um, uh, okay. Um, I guess I'll stand up. Okay, and that is uh, half forward. your movement. Yep. And then I'll... Uh, and only one spell per turn, I think, other than cantrips, which sucks. I'll... Wait, three so creatures of your choice. Okay, um, I'll cast Bane on the Hellhounds, all three of them. Okay. So go ahead and hit that spell. Uh, yes, that's cast spell. All right. Bad. Uh, 
bad. At least they're consistent. Bad. They have been baned. Good. Uh, and then I will. Um, this? Sorry. Um, trying to make sure I'm not saying I can do something that I can't do. Um, oh, crap. Okay. Well, uh, sorry. I thought I had quickened, but I don't. <laughs> um, did I did did we actually pass around good berries or was that just something that we? Oh, about? we each have one good berry. Yeah, you've each got at least one good berry to get you back up, so you can get a whole one hit point if you want it. <laughs> um, hey, it's one hit point to have or not to have. You do have Shion will... White as a divine soul sorcerer. Or is that mm. Celestial? No, that's Celestial Warlock. I'm stupid. I forgot. I, I don't have divine light. I have. Um... Yeah. I will chow down on a delicious good berry then, I guess. Okay. Twelve. Um. I guess the boots shut down when I went unconscious, or I guess they didn't. Um. But anyway, yeah, it's pointless. It's too low to All right, done. Cool. So attacking Becky. This fault that counts. Missing horribly and attacking Becky. Missing horribly. Very dark. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> I'm going to pop up here. I don't know. Um, I am going to use my action to do Coiling Grass, my tattoo, on this Hellhound. Okay. Um, let me see what it allows me to do here. Go ahead and click. Yep. Let's see. There you go. So it should be a, a save. So hold on. We got a uh, strength save, DC 14. Uh, th doesn't seem affected by it. He made a save. Okay, and then bonus action will be Starry Form Archer uh, against the same one. Okay. That is a critical hit. Nice. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Because I, I just, I need to see, so it is garbage radiant damage all right so it's yes gonna... radiant perfect strike so give me uh damage as critical uh that's what that roll was that is crit oh that is critical all yeah, right that's a now roll uh roll. hit hit damage again and do normal It takes both those rolls. All right. Because uh, Perfect Strike is triple damage. Nice. Nice. Now, if only you actually had rolled decent damage. On this <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. right. So that was yeah. very... You're done? Uh, yeah, that was movement, action, bonus. Yep. Okay. Becky, your turn. All right, I have judged that the hounds are currently the larger danger. Um, oh, probably can't save me, my savior. Wife? Yes, my dear. Don't leave me, I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey, I got dogs to kill. <laughs> I hear puppies. And oh, wait, that was a perfect the spot. All right, two attacks of opportunity. Are they going to bother with it? <laughs> Missing horribly. <laughs> Alright. You moved up. Yeah. 
And am I still poisoned? Uh, stench. Oh. Let me yeah, double. until the start of my next turn. Uh, hang on. Let me just do this for you again. Or be poisoned until the start of my next turn. Okay, so you're no longer poisoned. Yay. Um, then I shall attempt to strike the Hellhound right in front of me. Okay. With me magic sword. That's an attack. Plus two. Missing horribly. Really? <laughs> All right. Um, and that's it. And you said Thunder, you were going to kill um... the dogs. Shut up. <laughs> Dress. Remember there. What's up? Well, I feel like I'm uh... in danger again. <laughs> oh, never mind. So, I'm assuming they're seeing me with dark vision, so they'll have disadvantage on attacking me if I move away on their opportunity attacks. Uh... No, because Alimus is in range with his light halo. Shite. Yep. No, that's fair enough. Um, I'll just draw my rapier and do a melee attack then. Okay. Instead of shooting my longbow. I'll do it on the one with Hunter's Mark on. Okay. Oh, that's a crit. So, this was on your rapier. Alright. So, go ahead and roll me damage, please. Alright. So, this is piercing damage. Piercing. Alright. Guarded strike, double the damage, so you get, he takes the 15 damage. Um, and you gain plus one AC for a round against him. Oh, that's, that's actually quite nice. So click on him. He no can... instant decapitation of the doggo. <laughs> Remember, that's, that's gone. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Any the butt was <clears throat> apparently. Anything else from you, Trez? Um, no, that's my turn. One second. Okay, that's your turn. This guy. This guy. I got. I gotta scroll up a little bit. Keep scrolling up. Keep scrolling up. Spike growth. So moving out will not cause 2d4. And it... 1d3. 1, 2, 3. Bongren attacking you. Okay. There's a 15 hit. No, it does not. All right, so he misses. All right, which is very, very lucky. That's the ghoul. This hellhound. Did not recharge his fire breath. And goes for Becky. At advantage. Wait, wait, wait. Pack tactics. What, what kind of uh, armor do you have again, Becky? Uh, adamantine. Spirit. And the draws, what kind of armor do you have? Studded leather. All right. You are the fleshier creature. There's more flesh showing. <laughs> so it attacks you. Shite. I have a boob window, I will have you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he's Bane. He's Bane's? Yes. Bane is what? 
24 of that's on his attack roll. It's still a crit. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Damage. Is it still crit? Yeah, it's yeah. The, it's it's the natural part of it. Uh, so this is piercing damage, piercing. So it's only going to be normal damage. You're lucky. Actually, not so lucky. All right. Um. So normal damage, you're going to take the eleven damage, Draz. Still not dead. Okay. Usually but, that means it's worse. I gotta, is there even a place on this on the character sheets now? No, Draz, no, no. Draz, uh, go to your biography part of... Oh, am I losing limbs? No. Ooh, there's, there's it's effects. Piercing. It's piercing. Uh, we're going to go to effects or uh, biography, and you're going to so go ahead and uh, start... <clears throat> Actually, where can we write this now? I know. Let's see. So, uh, you are um, <clears throat> you're gonna take. Oof. Okay. So, I'm putting in if under effects. Passive. We're editing it. Effects. Uh, plus. Uh, downgrade. Dexterity value, effect value, minus two. Submit. Oh. What was your dexterity normally? Uh, it's 18, I believe. In, like, oh. this, this total value, so that's like a plus four. So it would be. Oh, you want to change his dexterity? So that would be. What did he hit? I thought he was going to be decreasing the con. So the. And. <clears throat> the ability scores. There we go. So under effects, uh, what are you wielding? Is the biggest question. Fun. All right. So he ripped your hand pretty good. Uh, you are at disadvantage on attacks. If you use, uh, like, two-ended attacks. Uh, let's see. We're going to roll one more. 1d2. Uh, it is not your favorite hand, so you are not disadvantaged on your attacks. Okay, cool. So the hand that you have out, where, or backhand, your backhand. Offhand, off yeah. Yep, you're offhand. So bows, you're going to be at disadvantage. That's not good as a ranger. As a... Is that fixed with the restoration or something? Or is it just That's forever? what I was about to ask. It's normally fixed with the restoration. Uh, lesser, lesser, resto lesser? lesser restoration, yes. Okay, I got you. Uh, you basically, you bandage it, you heal it, and then lesser restoration. Will I still right, be able to so put a shield in that hand? Uh, no, you would not. Crap. <laughs> Finish this combat, and then I'll fix your... All right, so up. that is that bite... <laughs> Like how much does that reduce me by in total? Uh, it reduced you by only 11 damage. It reduced you in 2 dexterity. Uh, and it, it redu uh, your disadvantage on your offhand or you can't use off a shield. Offhand or two-handed. You yep. can't use shields. Yep. Got it. Cool. I'm down to 4 hit points, guys. <laughs> it's almost my turn. Other guy... Did not recharge his fire breath. Sees Draz and bites him. Is that another crit? No. No. Green is crit. It's, uh, okay. Does it still hit with the Bane? How much is Bane? Uh, one minus 1d4 for that. So would it 18 hit you? Ah, 18 still hits me, yeah. Okay. For 19 damage. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> Becky, I think it's time for a tag team duo to really <laughs> shine. Uh, I don't want to take the attack of opportunity as the thing. 
So, so I got to do this just one more time just to know. Nope, it didn't happen. All right, because I forgot about pack tactics. No worries. Cernan. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm going to take the disengage action here. Okay. I'm going to put Get myself the in between the people. Yep. Uh, and I am going to bonus action uh, healing wood. Draz. Oh, I need to bring that hell hell. It's just going to... Uh, I mean, but that won't, then it won't attack me. Mwah. I see that as a good plan. Healing wood. Draz. Seven healing up Draz. So Draz is no longer down. Uh, and then I will end... Oh, I miss you picked yourself right back up, right? Yeah, I was up last time. Okay. I'm standing. All right. This guy is going to try biting you while baned. Uh, roll, roll a d4. 1d4. All right. Uh, I just type roll and it doesn't. Uh, backslash roll 1d4. Or, I'm sorry, forward slash. Misses horribly. Oh, because of misses. Bane. If, it, if, if you rolled a one, it would have hit. <laughs> yes, that would have been sad. Um, very sad. All right. Bungren, uh, or Draz, you didn't uh, take your seven healing, by the way. There you go. We'll heal it up. Bungren, your turn. Second wind. Yay. Sentinel would have been so good to have right now. <laughs> All right, so second wind is... Bonus action. We may then, just want to clear the path downward and try and run. There's no running from this. Mm. Somebody put stone spikes in the way. Yeah, but they can <laughs> take them down. It's their spell. True. So, okay, after that, um, <coughs> green flame blade on this thing here. Okay. So go ahead and attack. Somebody planning a fireball. No, I'll just try to check the extent of that light spell. Oh. Try to find some darkness to hide it so I can go invisible. Oh, uh, I also emit light right now. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, because of my sword. This is a Gloomstalker's worst nightmare. <laughs> that will hit. I'm pretty sure the Hell Hunts themselves with like a passive okay. kill. So that will hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for the first, the one you actually hit. So the longsword right. damage. He will take that. And then go ahead and roll your damage for Green Flame Blade to the one that's adjacent to him. Which is no, it just takes um, casting stat damage, which would be a two. Two, just two damage. All right. Yeah, just two. All right. I would have laughed so hard if that killed it. <laughs> that was. Delivered, perfect, awesome. That was anything else for you, Bunker? Um, I don't think I can. Can I? You can move, but that's about it. But moving is yeah. probably not the best. No, it's not. I'll just stay and be a shield wall. Olivus. Uh, what does the nuclear symbol mean on that one guy? He's hunter's marked. 
Oh, okay. Um, Gries Gantas, I... do not worry about it. Can I drop concentration anytime, even if it's not my turn? Uh, yeah, you can free drop concentration whenever. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast web centered on myself using my wand. Okay. Oh, um... Oh, actually, centered on the tile immediately north, so all three of them are webbed. Okay. Although, actually, wait. Hover up to six feet above with the boots, uh, and then cast it. Okay. Because it makes the web five feet deep. So go ahead and click on the wand of web in your inventory. Oh, cool! I can do that. Oh, he's uh, no, he's no longer uh, hunter's marked. He was unconscious. Perfect. All right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it would have dropped because I'm unconscious. Uh, attributes, wait, inventory. Where is the one? There we are. Usability. And didn't do anything, cool. of course. Awesome. Um, I got an idea. Give me one second. I got. Uh, this. I mean, it's just, it's it's also in my spell book. Okay, then I just do this. Yep. So place the measure place. template. Uh, oh crap, it doesn't fit. Oh, wait, you can do the half tiles. Does that work? No, it's only full tiles. Oh. All right, um, sorry, I thought it did fit. Okay, I'm not going to do that instead. I'll just, I'll, I'll twin toll the dead on these guys. Um, the one in front of me and then the one with the, the um, whichever one looks more injured on All right. the other so side. Th they look about the same, is the problem. Uh, the one in front of our, 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 our delightfully Becky. adorable. Right. So yeah, go ahead and hit Toll of the Dead. Yep, yeah, all right. Let me get back to the sheet. Uh, spill the, where are you? Here, Toll of the Dead. And then uh, um, uh, here. And then. Uh, all right, so this um, guy right here, Toll of the Dead, is fine. Is and then the one in front. A Becky is not fine. Oh, well, it, someone got help hurt. So, versatile damage. Go ahead and roll the versatile damage, because that should be the extra damage amount. Uh, normal. Does uh, that right. work? Yep. Then, got to remove the sorcery points, which I will do. <clears throat> and two, I think. All right. Is uh, that it for you? Uh, I, would there be any advantage on hovering high enough up that they can't reach me? I guess. Uh, you would have to be at them. the ceiling. I mean, these they can jump up and nip at you. Stupid jumping dogs. Um. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, um, cool. Moving cool. out of doesn't cause any damage. Attacking mm -hmm. Bungrant. Does a 15 hit? No, it does not. All right. And then this guy, roll 2d4. All right. All righty. Very. They're in between uh, a rock and a hard place right now. Yeah. Uh, free action. I'm just going to drop concentration on... Spike growth. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Don't worry about it. I kill it. Okay. Done. Um, I'm going to use one charge of uh, Guiding Bolt on. Uh, no, I don't want to consume a spell spot. Uh, and I'm targeting. Um, I'll target this one. Okay. Please hit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ugh. All right. I mean, this encounter would be manageable if you actually roll decent. Right? What? Um. So what it was the guiding bolt from? Was it from a wand or? Uh, it's a, uh, let me see. Um. I'm trying to remember what it is. It's like a part of the map. Yeah, it's a part of the class. Okay, so it's just it's it's essentially part of you. All right. right. Well, it, it gives me it gives me the 
the yep. ability to cast it as a first level, but I yep. can also cast it twice a day. Yep, give me one second. I'm adding an effect to you. Attributes, your wisdom. Oh, right, because that one. What did he get? Oh, ho, ho, ho. fuck. No, that's not it. This might actually be my first in-game TPK, and I'm sort of looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Becky, I don't think we can die. I have a way to get out of this. Okay. Just triple checking. All right. Um, as you cast that spell, your your brain just like burn. Like you have, you get the the worst headache in the entire world. Okay. Uh, go ahead and take a look at your attributes. Yeah. Yep. Right. Nothing like, you know, affecting my spellcasting ability. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> bonus action, starry form, uh, attacking the one here okay. in front of Draz. Yep. Uh, that will miss. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. Becky! Yes? Um, because a lay on hands is an action, which sucks. I will simply attempt to hit the hellhound in front of Dress. Okay. Uh, Fritz, this yay! Mic time. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll me damage. Yeah, and I'm gonna smite it as well. All right. Uh, this is again damage plus two critical hit for thirteen base. Um, this is magical damage. I don't know if that's important. It's not really important. Don't worry about it. But it is magical, so there's sparkles. Um, so 13 damage, and you get a plus one to your AC. Nice. I have an AC of 26. <laughs> um, and For one round. Might. So that's 3d8, because it's a fiend, I believe. Uh, yep. Okay, so 3d8, and that's doubled, because crit, so for 68. And another 29 points of Radiant. <laughs> if that thing ain't dead by now... It's not. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> How is it dead. looking? What? I better hope the dog is looking like... It's elderly, and it would be a mercy to put it down by now. <laughs> All right. That's rough. All Becky right. Becky is angry. Becky is angry. All right. Can I just kick it for a bonus action and something? Dr like Dress, your turn. I think I might take the disengage action and just move back a square. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm at risk of getting splattered. Um, can I use an item interaction to beat one of my good berries? Uh, y bonus action, good berry, yeah, I'll allow that. If you move back one, uh, he may start attacking me, in which case I can no longer hear you and we'll leave combat. Where are you going to leave to? Uh, I have a teleport, so okay. I'm just going right. to teleport. So that's Draz. We haven't killed enough undead yet. We're heroes. All right, the bloodied creature is going to be attacked by the ghoul. Missing horribly because ghouls suck. Hellhound number one did not recharge and is biting Becky. 
Go for it. Oh, it's at advantage. Sorry. Racine. Next, Hellhound. This guy did not recharge. Moves forward and bites at the guy who's bleeding profusely. God damn it. How many hit points does that fucking thing have? Uh, let's just double check. I gotta read this. It is So he does not get advantage on this one. Fucking hell. Really? Fucking... Remember, it's pain, although it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter because it's still crit. Uh, it's how many crits against one did, person? Did Becky get an opportunity attack when it moved? It's no, still within his it range. Stayed in my meta range. Anyone have a reaction that? Um, I guess not. Uh, what's your maximum hit points? Thirty-four. So maybe. you are not killed outright, luckily. Yay. So your death is zero. Um, oof. And because of the piercing damage, even worse stuff. Remember your, your arm? Do, have I lost the arm? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> It's um, when he says, remember yeah, your arm. Uh, what that arm used to have. Okay, so the, the, the arm that you could stab with, <clears throat> you, can't oh, move, you can't move that arm now. So your bad arm is, is okay, or at disadvantage. Your, your good arm, you just can't move. If I was conscious, I would be very up dead up by now. <laughs> uh, just wakes up and just looks done with this shit. This. God fucking damn it. Good hand. Immobile. Gotcha. I bet it's at like 2 HP, and if you would have hit it, it would have been dead. Cernin, your turn. Muted. Certainly. Sorry, I was chewing down. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This is a predicament. <coughs> I think healing word on Draz and then mind server on the doggo. So six healing on Draz. How many yeah. spells do you have left? Uh, I think I have one first level spell slot left. And okay. at that point, I'll just start upcasting. And then DC 13 intelligence saving throw on the, do on the dog. The I'm, closest one I'm good. Ah, fuck you, Thomas. Uh, Thomas, I'm just quickly wondering something. What? Uh, with a crit, I did 42 damage. How aren't that high of a CR? How many hit points do they have? A very sh he has one hit point left. Um, that intelligence what, saving throw should have Bane on it, too. Oh, the Bane's on saving throws? Uh, Bane is on attacks and saving throws. Okay, so oh. roll 1d4, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get back there. Didn't um, that hound already take damage? Yeah, I roll. think so. I'm pretty sure I credited it with the rapier beforehand. Let's All go. Right, so he did not. So he is. Get fucked, you hellhound. Die. Yeah. He dies. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just confused by me doing 42 damage, and I'm very sure. I did like. Got a bit more damage 15, beforehand, I think, you know? Beforehand? There was damage on this one. And Doesn't you did. Matter, it's dead. Wait, what do you mean double damage? You did a total of twenty nine damage. Uh, that was just the smite. Yep, twenty nine plus. And the... then I did the longsword damage, which was fifteen. So I did a total of forty two damage. Yep, and it when I. Oh, I. All right. 
And I had, I had crit on that one as All well. All right, never mind. I I forgot to add it up. I, I can't really retcon it, unfortunately. Yeah, who cares? It's yeah, dead. I was just wondering about it, you know? I, I forgot to add the 13. That's what it was. Don't worry, yeah. Draz. I'll save your hands when we take a long rest. All right, so that Cernin... It was Cernin? Uh, yeah, bonus action, action. Uh, yeah, I'm done. All right. There we go. Oh, I must go ahead and take your attack for opportunity. Oh, the monster's moving? Yep. It um, sensed one of the, the death of one of its allies. Well, luckily I have a weapon. Um, so what is yeah, the role for... Yeah, a sword it, it's, is it's, too big to use properly with an eight strength. <laughs> uh, you're going to be at disadvantage, so... All right. Um... It's not in the inventory, so I guess I'll just roll it. Um, oh, I thought I gave you one. Oh, Sorry. I got a two. All right. Uh, I totally missed. <laughs> okay. Like, whatever that is, it's probably close to zero, if not zero. Oh, well, at least you guys can uh, now, now get the chance to be pin cushions. Did he recharge his fire breath? This one didn't no, use its fire dog. breath. It's a new dog. Uh, I may die here, guys. So everyone, no, every no. everyone in the blast. So n not Bergen. <laughs> wait, wait, no, Bergen would oh. get hit with it. Well, he's, he's, hit wait, no, he does not get hit by it. Draws us. Okay, taking half damage. Thank the heavens. So I'm not rolling a save. Bungren is not rolling a save. Okay. Becky, <laughs> Becky, Cernan, Draz, and Viri are rolling saves. Everyone who failed takes 25. Everyone who passed, oh, right-click that damage and take half damage. Cernan, you, you up? Oh, is it still my turn? No, no. So, let's see. Becky took the damage. Oh, no, I, I, I saved and I Fury took the took damage. took the 25... All right. Yeah, I took the damage. Okay, everyone took the damage. Bongrin. Okay. Um. Well, I just felt some heat behind me. Yes, you did. Like the the, the hairs on the back of your neck sort of got singed a little bit. Well, I'm wearing the plate now, so. Okay, your butt got warm. That's it. That's about. <laughs> what was that? I didn't fart. You still got an action search, right? I have action search, yeah. And we're probably gonna take a long rest after this, so it might just be best to use it. <laughs> we might just escape. That's too true too. How torn up are the three in front of me? <laughs> oh, the three in front of you? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're they're pretty. Some of them are pretty hurt. Okay, they're, they're um, all about equal, though. They're all about equal. Fuck I don't want to use my last spell slot. When I get a turn, I can heal two of them at once. I get a turn. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go ahead and um, well, it's an action to use one of my healing potions, isn't it? Okay. Uh, the action, yes. Nope. nope, it is an action to drink a potion. Okay. That, that's All right. what we've determined after last season. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't know that. All right, well, then first I'm going to attack with the green flame blade 
at this one in front of me. Okay. So attacking the one in front of you? Yeah. The halfling will save us all. That will well, hit. Halfling, the halfling can run away. No one else can. <laughs> I can run away. The halfling can fly can away. <laughs> yeah, Becky can also run away. Oh my That's God. not the issue here. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that damage is going to go to that one. The two damage will go to this one over here. All right. Two damage. And then I will action surge to pop a healing potion. Okay. Should be able to just hit your healing potion in your inventory. Yeah. For eight. Nice. Oh, All right. So, um, as long as I don't mess this up, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I don't. Don't um, say that. Okay. So, I'm going to distant M twins um, cure wounds on whoever is most hurt. How many of you are down? Like all of you? I'm down. I uh, don't know who else is. Yeah. Uh, Draz is down, down, like unconscious. Yeah. Okay. All right. I so we're gonna enjoy cap. some healing, so I can heal. I was gonna say I'm pretty low as well. <laughs> I think yeah, everybody's low, low. Yeah. including me. me. I can heal um, people on the next. Would it be? Might... Would it be better to just attack because otherwise you guys will just go right back down? Um. Oh well, like, I'm being. I'm... Do what feels right to you. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um. Okay, so distant twin cure wounds as a second level spell. Oh, um, damn, all the shots. Well, I don't know. If you guys die, there's no one to stand in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody, clip that, please. I love that. Clip. Spoken like a true caster. Okay, so um, uh. uh so the thing only lets me do it as a first level, but okay. So it's part of the class. So am I allowed to do it as second level, or does it have to be first level? So it's like from being a, um, a, a whatever it's called, a divine, divine soul thing. Source, sure. All right. Yeah. So features. So, what is it called? Uh, uh, sorcerer's origin. Uh, sorcerer's origin. No, no. It's uh, it's divine magic. No. Um, what is it again? Divine soul. Um, oh, if you just go to call, no. Would it be like your healing touch? I think you get that at level four. Oh well, yeah, I get healing oh, that's touch. That's a racial no, trait. Oh. Whenever you cast a cure wounds spell with this trait. Cure wounds. Oh, that is this spell. Um, quantum magic. Where is it stored under here? Healing touch. When you. All right, just do your, um, at a second level, it just casts 1d8 again, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it just, just gets more heal. Uh, click on healing, and then add 1d8 to the, uh, the one the situational one. bonus. And then it's twin, so I'll do, do I roll again, or do I just have everyone gain 2 H 10 HP? Or not everyone, uh, but... You roll um, again. Okay. Uh, plus one. And who are you sure that... Uh, the ten goes to s who is down. Uh, Draz yeah. is down. Is Draz the healer? The other healer? No, no, I'm no, the healer. He's the, the one with the broken yeah. hands. Uh, Draz is the useless health? character. <laughs> you cast health if your healing is down. Uh, if your what hands you are broken. Uh, Draz isn't the healer. Oh fuck! Right. He can't he's cast somatic spells. Line. Oh, okay. Um, this is being complicated. Uh, 12, uh, 10 to the guy who's down and 12 to the uh, uh, other person. Cernan. Cernan. Okay. Come on, then, dear um, husband! And maybe just sort of float up as high as humanly possible and over this little 
corner here. So, um, you know. I'll be, I'll be meeting you soon. Don't worry. All right. So Draz took 10 healing. Cernan took 12 healing. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. So that's Elmas. And it blows all my sorcery points. Which I Ghoul number one. Eeny, meeny, miny. We're going to just randomly roll for these guys attacking. Bung! This guy's going to attack you. All right. Missing horribly. Very much so. This guy's going to move here and attack around the corner. Was I the 10 or the 12 on the healing word, by the way? Almost. Uh, Draz is 10. Draz yeah, is 10. Cool, just check in. He, uh, and Tack is going to get a plus 2 to his AC. And st I'm still going to try to attack him. There's a 17 hit. If I have a plus 2, I'm at 22 then. Okay. You're golden. Fury, your turn. Alrighty. Um, okay. Uh, first up, it's going to be uh, attacking with the shillelagh that's still up to the creature directly in front of me. Okay. Uh, so I think I just got to pop it back in. There we go. <clears throat> That'll indeed hit. All right. Uh, and then bonus action, um, starry form to this one right here. Okay. Oh, you killed a ghoul. Let's go. Oop. Try again. Twenty will hit. Good gracious, three points of radiant damage. Alrighty, uh, that'll do it. Becky, your turn. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, I'm gonna attack the wounded guy. Okay. Again. Uh. Nineteen. That will need hit. All right. Damage time. For six points of magical damage. All righty. Anything else for you? <laughs> nope. Dress. Um, that's all I can do currently. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use my bonus action to do Blessing of the Raven Queen. So I'm, and I'm going to teleport it 30 feet <laughs> to try and get away from this hell hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you're yeah, also teleporting. So get me over to the... Alrighty. Then, um, I'm not sure I can attack, right? Because I've got an immobilized arm and a crippled yeah. another arm. Oh, uh, yeah, your, your rapier is actually on the ground. Yeah, um... Can I pick that up? Would that be an item interaction or a bonus action to pick it up before the... I teleported? Uh, no, you couldn't have. Not with your arms fucked as there. Not with my arm. Cool. Um, I'm then going to move another 30. Yeah, uh, so unfortunately, Draz, you can't really help us right now. So yeah, best course yeah. of action. Can Good I attempt time. to shut the secret door, maybe? So what? more things don't come down this corridor. Oh, so you're going to shut it? Are you going to lock us in here? No. Wait. I mean, I assume like, I can see how to open and close it from this side, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just open it again if we need to leave. But okay. I don't want more dogs coming in. Oh, fuck. Our dogs are pain. Did it just regenerate its fire? Yes, it did. Does uh, Bane times. stop the fire, by the way? No, it does not. <sighs> it's not a saving throw. <sighs> uh, isn't it just the read? Oh, no idea. You rolled to uh, energy charges on 5.6. All right. So everyone in that cone, so not Viri. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw. And this is where we die. <laughs> no, we got this. So oh, Cernan and... I, I, I made it private. <laughs> and...
24 damage. Those who made it, take half. Yeah, I'm down. I'm alive! <laughs> so who's down? Becky's Nobody. down. Oh, fuck. Uh, Cernan, you t took half damage, so 12? Yeah, I took half damage. All right. And... <sighs> Bunger made it, so he took half, so 12. All right, so that's that. Cernan! Yep, I have a plan. Okay, I'm face-stepping. So, both of these dudes, I'm in Autumn, so they need to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, so it is 8 plus 2, so DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, and I am going to go... Are you just going to leave your wife here? No, 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 I'm not. Up to mm -hmm. two creatures of your choice. Make a wisdom saving throw. All right. So it's the two doggos. Yep. And then I am going to... Upcast Healing Word. On He's my fine. Wife. You said a DC what? DC 13. All right, so the other one is charmed. Okay. So don't attack the charmed one. Try and Which keep it on the charmed on one? I wouldn't know because I'm unconscious. <laughs> I'm, and then I'm upcasting healing word on my wife. Nine healing to Becky. Becky is up. And... Also, my Shield of Faith would have ended, so I'm at 23. And I am... I am done. My turn is over. Other Hellhound who is Charmed. What was Charmed again? Hold on, I got this. Charmed. Cannot target... Charm creature cannot attack the charmer, target the charmer in harmful magical ways. All right. Did not recharge. Becky is prone, so it has advantage. Blah, 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 blah. Go for the throat. Missing horribly. All right. Bungren. I am going to try to push this thing in front of me to the wall. All right. Over here. I believe it's what? Just an athletics check? Correct. An opposed athletics check. <clears throat> so you push it back. And you move forward, pushing it. Yep. Any oh, that's just go ahead. That's your action. Um, can I also attack it, or was that that's my attack that's action? your action? Okay, I believe so. Yeah. Sorry, I haven't done this for like three years. So. No worries. Yeah, if I can't attack it, then that's going to be it. I'm just double checking, blah, blah, blah. Actions in combat. Da, 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 Making an attack. Attack rolls, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Boo, hoo, dee, 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 dee. Yeah, that was your attack. We'll just do it. Oh, I miss. Everyone seems to be running away from this fight. I'm not running. Huh. Um... And I can only see the charmed one. Correct. Right. Uh, I mean, if you got some healing, I'd enjoy some. Okay, I mean, I guess use, like... Is diagonals 5 feet or 10 feet in this? Thank you for the special five attack, feet. yep. Did um, Ryder get an attack of opportunity against that one? Was that? Since it... Did Ryder get an attack of opportunity against it since I moved it out of the threat range? 
you only get an attack of opportunity if um, it is moved of their own accord. Pushing, pulling, all that does not incur the attack of opportunity. All right, um, One second. Good. All right. And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, squiggly lines is the charmed one, right? Yes. All right. Uh, Toll of the dead, the one in front of Becky. All right. Uh, oh, we have perfect. to do that. Uh, the one yeah. that we've been hurting isn't charmed. And, uh, okay. yeah? No. Oh, I guess you have to saving throw for him. I'm good. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use the rest of my move to over here. Uh, I guess it would be... Uh... Oh, right, yeah, that's all. All right. Cool. This one. Bongren, you pushed it back. It doesn't like that. Does a 17 hit? No, it does not. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Remember, AC is 23. Moved over, and he's going to attack, attack now without the plus two to his AC. Missing horribly. Top of the order, very dark. All right, so everybody's still standing, right? Becky's still up. Uh, Becky is prone on the ground right now. Yeah. But conscious right yeah conscious. but, but yeah. conscious okay there's movement there a look of um, disappointment <laughs> um so action shillelagh is still up to the creature directly in front of me oh is there a creature in front of him that's alive yeah it just moved in it's hidden underneath the other one Let's see it just uh, rests dead brother as a hood. Uh, 11 misses. Okay, and then um, starry form archer to the one in front of Becky. That will indeed hit. Good gracious. Three points of radiant damage. Alright. Really? Anything else from you? Uh, no, that'll do it. Oops. Becky, your turn. All right. I am going to dump 16 points from my Lay on Hands pool onto myself. So okay. I have one left. In case somebody falls unconscious nearby. Nope, that's not death saves. Um... <clears throat> So that is 9 plus 16, so a total of 25 HP. That is my action. With a bonus action, I will have my uh, Shield of Expression shift to the most adorable puppy eyes and just push through <laughs> and get to my husband. Um... <clears throat> Trying to think. Movement. I know. Attacks of opportunity. Two attacks of opportunity. I'm taking that risk. They're Bane. It's okay. I'm sure yeah, but happen. they have advantage due to pack tactics. They do have advantage. 24 misses. Uh, what, what's your AC right now, Becky? Um, do I still have that plus one to AC due to my crit earlier? Uh, yes. Uh, then, uh, my AC is 24. Okay, so Bane would fuck it. Alright, and then next attack. Misses horribly. Okay. Anything else for you, Becky? Uh, no. Action was, uh, lay on hands. Right. Bonus Drez! Action, shield. Your turn. I will move... I'll put some caltrops. Wait, I'll just move to where I'm. The scribe just standing in here. Uh, 
and and then I'll move back to where I was because <laughs> there's not a lot else I can do with my disabled arms. <laughs> <laughs> you can flop the bar- You can barely even scatter the Keltrops. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. Just limply empty the bag. <laughs> I am in so much pain. Let's see which direction the hellhounds go. Fuck. They go towards the holy creature. Uh, no thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go down, Becky, and... Avenge you're... me. Uh, you're not gonna be able to weigh on hands me, unfortunately. Alright, so DC from just Cernan and Becky... <sighs> At least we died yeah. tragically as a couple. Full damage. Oof. Uh, same. Sorry, I made it public. Nineteen damage to both. I am down. I'm not. Let's go, Becky. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta wait an entire turn. Death, <laughs> death saving throw. Nope. I don't take death saving throws. I'm stable. Okay. So you're a fancy boy. Yeah, fancy boy with my amulet. Nope. Uh, fuck it. Charges. <laughs> and apparently flanking. Because all creatures are allied in killing others. <laughs> no, it's just if if it's he's trying to defend himself. Is an 18 hit yeah. you tech? Nope. All right. Bungren. Uh, I'm going to attack using Green Flame Blade. All right. Which one are you attacking? I'll be attacking this one in the corner, the one I pushed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Charm. No, Charm just means I can't attack that one. And I believe yeah. that's gone anyway. The 16? 16 will hit. Okay. And then two points of damage will go to the other one that would be on my right. Wait, why is Charm gone on that one? Well, how long does the charm last? One minute. It doesn't say anything about me going down. It's not a spell. It's not concentration. But do I get a save at the end of each turn? Uh, That's what I will check. Let's see. So two. No, it doesn't appear. So I'll put it in chat again. And for move action, I will chug healing potion. It's the autumn one. Autumn, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, autumn. That's pretty powerful. Alright, so it just can't move toward, it can't attack you, that's all. Fire breath will still hit. <laughs> well, fire breath was from the one that was enchanted. Oh yeah, that one's not charmed, yeah, you're right. The Bungren. Elmas! Uh, how are you uh, taking your potion of healing? Move action. It's uh, f- it's an action. Shit. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm going to follow the dead, the one that I can see, which is the one beside Becky. Okay. <clears throat> Give me that spell. Oh, right. Sorry. Mm. Fuck. He's damaged. Give me versatile. Nice. 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 You see that one go limp. Thank the heavens. I think that halfling over there. <laughs> I mean, he is flying, so maybe thank the heavens. <laughs> he's actually dead and accurate. 
Going after well, Bungren. So if we escape now... No, nah, there's still one more ghoul. Oh, right. It's just hidden the corpse. Never mind. Does an 18 hit you, Bungren? No, it does not. All right. Very dark. Do our job for us. Very dark. What you doing? All right. So this one is still under Bane, correct? Yes. Under Bane and it's uh, charmed. Uh, I mean, charm doesn't really affect me. Yeah, it doesn't really affect him. Um, Just go for it. Attack it. So uh, I'm going to do the Coiling Grasp tattoo. So it's a um, DC so it, 14 uh, strength hit. With Bane. Yes. 14 Bane. Fails. Let's go. Yep. That's, it, it fails. So this is force damage. And it is grappled. Alright. And no longer charmed. No longer charmed, which didn't really matter to you. Yeah. And then bonus action. Bonus action, I will. Um, I'm gonna up past. Well. So if I want to upcast a first level spell. Uh, you've already used Grasping Tendrils as the action. Right, I have a bonus action spell. I'm going to healing word myself. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to... Just no, cast the spell? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then, so there is still a creature here, right? Roll one more d4 since you upcast it. Oh, that's weird. I, I set it to... No, I rolled the 2d4. Oh. Rolled well. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. You're good. I set it a second. Yeah, okay. Um, there is still a creature here, right? Correct. All right. Um, I'm going to risk an opportunity attack from that one. Um, but stay within melee range of the, okay. the dog. Missing horribly. Yeah. Okay. Then that, that's my turn. All right. Becky, your turn. I'm going to kneel down and lay on hands my husband appropriately. Thank and you. And he's at one HP. <laughs> All right. Anything else for you? Um, I shall suggest that we get out of here. Somebody killed a ghoul over there. Hang on, how many did we need to kill? Four? Five, and we already killed one, Five, and then there was four here. Damn it! No, we're fine. If we kill this final ghoul, we'll be fine. Yeah, I only have javelins, but I already used my action. Because, you know, right, being So you're done. Draz, your turn. Yeah. Is there really anything I can do? <laughs> no, you're just taking up a slot on the. <laughs> go and get up. I was gonna say go scout the hallway. Cernan, yeah. your turn. Uh, so, uh, what can I do to help them kill the doggo? At first, you can get up from the ground. Oh well, yeah. Uh. I guess I'll just. Guiding bolt. Uh, I'll upcast a guiding bolt against the doggo. All right. Uh, he will have a plus two to his AC. And wait, hold on. It's a ranged spell attack. Range when you're prone, that's disadvantage. Oh, I'm getting up. Okay, you're getting up. Okay. Yeah, I used half my movement. To get okay. Up. Guiding bolt upcasted. Does a 13 hit? No, it does not. Okay. Do I have any bonus actions? Oh, wait. 
Uh, does a 18 hit. What's the plus 2d4 from? Uh, favored by the gods. Do you... Uh, once per shirt less if you fail a saving throw. I'll just... There we go. If you fail a saving throw or miss an attack roll... Okay, yep. That'll and hit. And damage... 13 damage. Wow, that is not the best. Alrighty. We roll like shit. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be the end of... Actually, I'll slide myself this way. And end my turn. Alright, it's gonna go after Viri. Twenty-three hit. Yep. For fifteen damage. I believe I am unconscious. Alrighty. Yeah, unconscious. And then it bounds after Becky. Yay. After, like, like rip, uh, knocks you to the ground, rips out the throat, and then runs right after Becky. Hello. <laughs> Bungrin, your turn. You just watched Viri's throat get slashed out. All right. And at this point, I'm going to use my last first level spell slot to cast Witch Bolt on the dog. Okay. It's uh, max range at 30 feet. Two, three, four, five. You'll hit. Oh, oh damn. fucking hell. Really? Did you miss? Yeah, I did. Oh. All right. Yeah, so, it's like, it's like he critical. critically missed. Yeah. Um, this one's called Power Down. You asleep. Give me one second. We could have succeeded in this combat if we didn't roll such bollocks. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you are exceed, succeeding. I feel like it's a bit of a Pyrrhic victory, though. Like, I've lost both my arms. <laughs> I can no, save those. One arm and one hand. Okay, I've got um, <clears throat> on the same side. So you also get this horrible, horrible, like blinding headache when you cast that spell. And you took some int damage. Your brain hurts. <laughs> All right. All right. Anything else for you, Bungren? Still alive. Yep. Um, no, I'll go ahead and steer where I'm at and be the punching bag. Oh, I miss! The, uh... uh, yeah. Move, uh, here, because I can hear people getting beat up. Uh, and then uh, here. I'm yep. on 180, uh, by the way. Ah! Uh, 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 phone is ringing. It's not ring anymore. Uh, Toll the dead, the, the, the doggy. Doggy. Who's was that? All right. And then, um, uh, go ahead and give me that spell. Do. It's. Damn. Fuck. Give me that damage. Damn. All right. It's still up. And then the rest of the move, I will bravely move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ghoul takes an attack at Bungren. Does a 19 hit? No, it does not. <laughs> All right. Viri! Death saving throw. All righty. Becky! I will strike at the dog. You have advantage because of the guiding bolt. Why, thank you. Yeah. That will indeed hit. Yeah. Yay. And normal damage for seven. Oh. 
and it falls down onto the stairs. <laughs> God, thank the heaven. Oh. Let's get the fuck out of here. Dress. Oh, there's still one more ghoul. There's still one more ghoul, and Viri is unconscious on the ground. Cernan. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh, give me a sec to go over to my spells. Uh, you must have some cancer. Oh, I have another guiding bolt. Don't worry. I just need to look at the range of it. <laughs> You're just going to overkill this one last goal with a guiding bolt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, Give one. Give me that one. Statement. Give me that one. Come on. Where does it show the range on it? It's, it's a... Oh, 120 feet. I see it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Give me that one. Give me that one. Give me that net one. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> let me get out of here. That is my husband, everybody. <laughs> wow. Okay, give me double damage. Double damage. Got it. Double damage. 33 damage. It, it basically disintegrates, and then it starts on fire. Let's go. All right. We are now... After round so eight. Just looked at it. Delete. <laughs> oh, hold on. Actually, that was Cernan. Bungren, your turn. Bungren, my turn. I, I uh, go ahead and eat a uh, healing potion is what I do. All right. Well, Viri bleeds out. Gotcha. Elimus, <laughs> your turn. Um, you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to fly. Or I guess oh. I'll stop flying because it burns energy. Um, Everyone's dead, I guess. All right. Yeah. Um, Very death saving um, throw. All right. Oh, you are so lucky. Trez, your turn. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh. Nope, <laughs> Cernan, your turn. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Using my pack magic, I cast Gear Wounds. Okay. <clears throat> we are now out of initiative. I was, I was hoping Fury would Nine roll one eight. so I could get at least one kill in Under Mountain. Wow, thanks. You know. <laughs> I'm going to eat my good berry. Yeah, I think I have, let me check how many I've got left. I'd, I'd like to consume twenty-four good berries, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Get up this popcorn bag. Good berries are only good in moderation. Um, get that popcorn bag in a funnel. <clears throat> get that good... I'm now back to full health after. <laughs> uh, can we leave now, please? We have killed um, the undead. Let's take the heads as evidence of those that are still remaining. And I'm going to kick one of the dogs for good measure. <laughs> uh, any um, any, any good loot on the dead bodies? Oh, yeah. Tynus, why, why would you do that? What? I'm just, I'm just rolling because she's talking. If he hadn't asked about the loot, I would have. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I don't um, care about the loot. Let's go back. Let's leave. I, I just <clears throat> reclaim my, my my stuff I dropped. My arms yep. got disabled. The, the ghouls... Oh, I can hold you a vapor for you. Yeah. The the ghouls have, like, tattered rags on them, mostly. Um, the fiends, I mean, if you wanted to maybe pull teeth or maybe skin them or whatever, it's it's up to you. Uh, is, the Holy Sanctum does not deal in fiends. It deals in undead and cultists. Um, <clears throat> possibility. I mean, your your party is probably looking down on it. If you're lawful good, you want nothing yeah. to do with it. Yeah, I'm not interested. Um, uh, I no, I have a speak. lesser restoration, so I guess our character who has no arms could probably Yeah, we can save arm. that. We can save him. But let's leave and save him, you know, above ground. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just going to take some count. evidence with well, me. Well, to be that. fair, he, he can't swim with one dead arm. Yeah, we got right. the shape water. All right. Yeah, yeah it's fine. <clears throat> well, he's running I'm, away, so I guess not. Yeah. I'm going to do yeah, an I'm, arcane. I'm just taking some All right, hold on, hold on, the, hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Shut up. I'm holding. Bungren, what were you saying? 
do an arcane check to see what um, spell components or whatnot I can get off of these things from the the dogs and the the, uh, the ghosts. Uh, not so much. Maybe the tongue would be. Uh, give me an arcana. Yeah, give me that arcana check. God. You have maybe pull like cutting off the head of the the hellhounds, and that's about it. All right, uh, then I'll go ahead and do that with my hand axe. All right, chopping off the head, throwing three hellhound heads in in a bag. The bag bursts into flames. No, I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna convert all my sorcerer points into spell slots. Okay, and just cast cure wounds twice on Becky and once on me. Okay, thank you. So cure wounds. So yeah, all I said was that Becky would have gotten some evidence that uh, they killed ghouls. And a ghost. And, and a freaking banshee. Yeah. Yeah, so... the banshee doesn't really leave remains, though, as far as No, it's true. So, Becky, Becky, take ten, and I will take nine. You're better off helping out the guilds, but I'll, I'll take that. Stretch. Okay. Yeah, XP-wise, what do we get? Oh yeah, adding the freaking XP. All right, let's let's just add all this up. For when s I like how I I didn't even expect Sonan to not to be this strong. What was the sorry? What was the XP for the Banshee? No, give me one. Uh, one eighty three. So you sh we should be at twenty two thousand eight hundred and eighty three. Excellent. So yeah, that's the power of marriage. Yeah. Marriage! Marriage is um, what brings us here today. And religion. Theo's um, fault, everybody. Yeah, give me, like, hold on, bro. A lot of people are talking yeah, over. Yeah, he's probably calculating. I'm, I'm mathing. Becky, next time we come into under mountain we'll have to kill some cultists <laughs> 525 yeah. added to everyone 525 uh i'm gonna get a calculator yeah so right now we had a total of 3408 yeah cool okay so let's go becky <laughs> Oh wait, Tynus, you may want to de-chunk get us de-chunk us. Oh, I think thank you. Chunk order. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Copy. Move that back over. Preload scene for everyone. Kill these guys. Paste these guys. Activate. All right. I like that preload. Thank you very much for telling me about that. that oh, that helps was very out. quick. Because you've already been here, actually, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just Who, has All right. Who has shape water? I'm, you just, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait the, the, person, the person with the broken arm, did you have shape water? No. Okay. So I'm going to just speed us along. <laughs> Move us here. Okay. Now we continue. Becky, would you like to take weed with me? Of course, yeah. my dear. So we head up here. Yes, I remember the way. Then we go to the right. Honey, wait for me. My legs are short. <laughs> <laughs> then this is Becky up. trying currently to speak in a normal volume. <laughs> It's not whispering. <laughs> you know, she's a little bit more reserved than last time. Uh, she took a lot life. of damage. Okay, through, the, through this, this room, yeah. you around the stump with the curse hands? that had the cursed sword. Yeah. Uh, Elman, do you want to deposit your head and sword here? <laughs> I don't think really? lesser restoration can cure a fully cut off hand. No, that's a crater. Yeah. You would like to find it. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. And we'll just call it. Um, yeah. You guys Six ring tugs. the rope. Six tugs. You all make it right back up. Unfor- now, does everyone have enough money? Oh. Yes. oh I what? know. I have enough for you, Becky. I don't care about the rest. I, you have to get put the gold on that character because if they don't have the gold, they cut the rope. I'll give 10 gold to Becky then. Uh, all right. Wait, 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 wait. I don't need to spend 10 gold. I just fly up. Um, as soon as you oh. go up... <laughs> About oh, 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 I'm all right. gonna die. All right. So as as soon as you go up about halfway up that chute, which is about a hundred feet, your boots give out, oh. and they begin to fall. Uh, cast web, and then just whip out the wand of web. Cast web, including myself. <laughs> all right. So you're encasing yourself in web. Better than dying. All right, and let's see, 100 feet. You may die. How much is 100 feet? Uh, A meter? No, no, no. 1d6 for every 10 feet. So, and there's a maximum? Maximum is like 200. Okay, so. And it's after 20 feet that you start taking damage, I believe, or after 10 feet. I think it's 20. So, 9d6. Yeah. So the web doesn't work then, I think. Hold on. Well, it, 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 when you cast web, again, for some reason, your, your boots didn't work, your, your wand didn't work. You take 36 damage when you hit the ground, actually. Just before he hits the ground, I'm going to activate my, uh, my grasping, uh, tattoo and grab him. All right. It's... He, will, he will still take damage. Okay, so I'll have that. He takes 18. All right. He's unconscious again. Well, I'm unconscious <laughs> in your tentacles. He's, you still have got, to... he's got a good berry on his body. We'll just shove it in his mouth. Yeah. But the question is, does Alimus have 10 gold? Because if he doesn't, he's staying in Undermountain. He's got 10 gold. Oh, so you do? I, I, I have yeah. enough to get a couple people up, too, if we need it. All right. Okay. So as, if everyone has 10 gold on their character sheets, we head on back up. Everyone yeah. take 10 gold off of their character sheet, and you make it out of Undermountain. I'll just take 20. Hooray! Hey. Um, uh-huh. Southwick, you're going to have to figure out all the payouts. Uh, so I hope <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's great. I got to... I got to... Pl- so, if... Uh, what magic turns off when you get halfway up. Does the sword turn off too, though? Yes, it uh, does. But as soon as it comes out of the anti-magic field, it turns back on. And you're on. Un- my hand. Oh yeah, he's unconscious. The sword falls down. The sword is oh, now sticking in the, the sand. Oh god, there's now a sword sticking in the sand there. There's <laughs> now the cursed sword in the starting room. All right. I mean, you can grab with like a pair of tongs. I mean, it's still value. <laughs> As long as uh, good. someone has mage hand, I'm not touching it. We've got the not bag of holding. It. Someone could like play. I won't pick it up. They could place it in I'm the bag of holding, it. and then tip it inside out. My a guilt bear, is not one bear sharp cursed items. In a bag I will have holding. you know the Westwood salvaging LPBE. You <laughs> have to take any magic items off your hand for right. a very fair price. All right. So, are we leaving the sword there? Yes or no? Uh, yes, I believe yeah. so. I'm but someone it. else pick it up. I'm not touching it. I don't <laughs> think anyone wants oh, wait, to touch it. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Could I, could I use the hand or a stick? <laughs> um. Would that count as me picking it up? Or no, it wouldn't. If you, if you kept your fingers on the outside of the hand, you could uh, make it grasp it and put it in a bag. I'll put it in a sack using the hand or okay. the stick. Alright. Alright, so you guys make it up top. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. You've gained one loot item. (laughs) Cursed sword in sack. (laughs) By the way, question the guild quest. Do they give anything to the guild or are they just sort of like things we have to do? Uh, They're just things that you have to do. You're initiated, those characters are now in. You have to talk to your guild master. Um. Delvers didn't get anything added to the map. 
Um, so they didn't really help out the guild other than survive. Uh, I have to do a lot of math um, to edit up. Uh, but we're, we're now in debrief mode. Uh, so all the new players... Uh, we'll start with Boondale. How, what did you think? Um, I thought it was very fun. Um, but I would like to see more um, character interaction. Because I assume that we are assuming our characters already know each other, right? Um, so the, the way that we start did it is you guys had like a week in advance to learn more about each other uh to talk with each other because uh you're all in different guilds except for of course the other person so you guys like <clears throat> talked uh with each other re learned about the guild so a lot of the 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 learning about each other is done before the game essentially um okay so, I mean, um, unfortunately, this is like a combat heavy unless we get further into Undermountain, then some role playing does happen. This is more of a dungeon crawl, unfortunately. Um, the reason why, it, why we added the guild system was to add a little bit more of the role playing outside of Undermountain. So more for the, uh, the Discord? Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that was Boondock, uh, Marxist. What were your thoughts? Yeah, no, I thought it was fun. Um, up until I got double, like, critted twice. In the <laughs> 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 oh, that was so nasty. All right, so I want to know your thoughts on the critical fumble and critical hit deck, since you were really fucked over by it. Yeah, um, I didn't mind it too much. I think, um, it felt like, because I critted with the rapier, well, I got four critting didn't feel anywhere near as good as what happened when I got critted, but I assume that's just the draw from the deck. Yeah. Because there are a lot of negatives that you can deal or debuffs you can deal. You just, yeah. I think you got the triple damage, which is just straight up triple damage. Yeah, and I think I got the like extra AC from the thing attacking me. Oh, yeah, you got the parry. Yeah. All right. So that's Mark says, Mr. Tickles, your thoughts? good all right and then tack tack you were brought in by your brother trietch yeah um i think just the only thing i would recommend is uh especially for new players or just players that haven't used foundry before um it's just a quick chance to like really be in with the character sheet beforehand okay so you just get a feel for how it works um mm. you know just just the nuts and bolts but beyond that i thought it was a lot of fun okay no Even and, if I rolled like garbage <laughs> and, and honestly this is my first game running oh, yeah, as yeah, a dm why, yeah. so yeah. seriously we're gonna take that to heart we might end up having a pre-game an hour before um right. just to learn everything and get everything set up so no that seriously helps out a lot uh now good i was just gonna say beyond that it was awesome uh, i liked foundry quite a bit too oh foundry um, yeah Found i have my hot bar set up right now and i just love seeing it like like yeah just having that like i just found out about the the hot bar as well is you can literally yeah. just put your long sword there, I feel or so your... cool as like a fighter. Just having you you my feel long sword. you feel like you're playing uh, an MMO right now, almost. Yeah. All right. No, that was great. Just long sword number one. Long sword number one. Well, long sword number one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Or in in my case, green flame blade. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you are all survivors. Um. Finally, let's go. We're, we're going to have a long conversation. Um, your characters <clears throat> get to keep that knowledge if you wish to keep them. Uh, each player gets to basically keep a survivor. So if you wish to go down into Undermountain again and say we have another lottery and you get chosen, you could be like, well, um, <clears throat> Bungren's going to go down or Draws is going to go back down. And I can I can be a guide. 
I just like the support class too much. I'm gonna have to keep my character as a survivor. All right. Um, <laughs> also, secondly, um, Tori. Sanctum Guild leader. Yes. Uh, me and you need to talk. Oh no. Uh, because Apostle probably wants Becky. Yeah. Um, no, Apostle can't have Becky. Okay. No worries. Okay. I already figured, like, oh, yeah, um, if Becky is probably going to be guild leader, then that's going to move to Apostle's uh, chart because it would be weird me as another guild leader to yep. have a character in his guild as a leader. It wouldn't make sense. So, no, yeah, uh, I, 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 I just... I, ju I just wanted to, uh, and it, I want to know if Apostle wants that. That we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, well, so that depends on Apostle. Does he want this good-looking elven lady? I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I get a new husband? Is so, my husband transition? I mean, my wife transitioning. Tack, you get uh, everyone in the group who survived. Um, everyone gets. Oh, I gotta pull up my. What. We're in a different realm now. Let's pull up the first... Because you are the first survivors in Season 4 with the new guild system. I have to look at guild points. Apostle is coveting the voice of an angel. All right. All right. So <clears throat> everybody gets 300 uh, guild GSP. Um, and these are, if you want to create a guild further on down the line, those are tied to you. Not the character. Um, Does that go to my own guild then? You could put it in your own guild if you wish. Yes. I will put it in my own guild. Which All right. So Apostle. Will always need more guild points. Apostle gets 300 because he has three surviving guild members. The guild points I get, can I just donate it to the holy sanctum because I, I really like the holy sanctum well <clears throat> um we'll we'll do deal with all of that later um i do want to thank all the viewers um i do want to thank the players i really appreciate you all being the guinea pigs of the first run of no, under mountain <clears throat> fuck you uh, hold on hold on uh, i'm just give me one second server mute all right, and <laughs> 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 um, Tor Torig's really cool. He he gets it. So um, you, I get to give my spiel at the end. <clears throat> this is a community. Uh, we've been running this community for three years now. Um, Boondale, uh, Marxist, Tickles, and Tak, uh, you are welcome in this community. We love having new blood and new players to this. Uh, you all, since you have played in Undermountain, gain the veteran uh, role, which means you get to see some spoilery shit. Um, and also, all the people who are watching get to, you get access to the voice channel. So if you watch the next game, everyone just talks shit in Mystery Sans Theater 3000 in the veterans channel while they watch the stream. So, basically, while you were running, people were talking shit about you in, in the voice channel above. <laughs> it's just a great community. Everyone is very welcoming and opening. If you wish to stay, um, by all means, uh, we'll continue to talk in a little bit after I uh, end this stream. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, again, thank you all for playing. I am going to... Move stuff over. Uh, whoever picked up the minus two sword, there is a guild that might want to buy that from you. And it was be because they deal in, <clears throat> and you know all about the different guilds, there's a guild that deals specifically with cursed items. So they might want to buy that off you. I will let that. All that interaction is going to happen in Discord. So it just adds a little bit more of that interaction. Thanks everyone again for watching. Uh, huge turnout for viewers uh, and everything. And then again, thank you guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to end the stream here. And I'm going to hit ending. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream.